Good morning, everyone. I'm Dexter Gravel, and welcome back to my continued first time playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV. I am back here at Idleshider, of course, because I was able to get up to the next level of the Aliapo missions? Yeah, but of course it happened again last time, uh, this time, where I tried to submit as, well, I mean, I submitted everything I needed to, but it, rather than the last time it happened, where I submitted everything and it, uh, talking to them again initiated the cutscene because I wasn't sure if it was enough. This time it went directly into the cutscene after finished uh, handing in the last item. So I had to shut down the game again to avoid it. Oh, I need to go this way. <laughs> I keep forgetting where I was. So, of course, I'm over here in order to continue with what that was going to be. Whatever it was. So let's go see. Hello, Zloey. Thanks to your hard work, Zloe's practically swimming in souvenirs from the Highlands. Why, I can just see the smile in Master Gagaruji's face, and the gill flowing freely from his coffers. <laughs> the souvenirs you brought back from Corthus have been selling like... Uh, something that sells a whole lot. Master Gregoruju and his friends at Costa del Sol say that just gazing at them is as refreshing as a cool breeze on a hot summer's day. Good to know. Why, the gill's been pouring in day and night, left and right. But that's not all. Now that our finances are under control, I can finally buy the books and writing implements I've had my eye on for so long. After all, Zloe's can't very well watch over for them forever, now can she? Uh, can she now? I must help them cultivate their minds, that one day they can strike out and earn their keep in their own. Zloe was never cut out to be more than a humble merchant, but their future is just full of possibilities. I can't let them down. And to think that not long ago, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to pay next month's rent. Don't we all think that? Now look at how far we've come, and it's all thanks to you, Dexter. Zloe thanks you from the very bottom of her heart. Today, I think I'll treat myself to a fresh bowl of pineapple pudding. Freshly made three days ago, that is. Have to take, uh, make it last, you know? Anyhow, I know you're doing the hard work, but I even I deserve that much, wouldn't you say? Could, could I have some? <laughs> Maybe? Oh, thank you. The last bowl I had was left over from last month's batch. I thought you said it was three days ago. <laughs> what? And it was somewhat lacking in the smoothness one generally associates with pudding. Why, I almost thought I'd crack a tooth. It was that hard? What? <laughs> Not that I actually cracked one, of course. See for yourself. Zloe's smile is as cute as ever. That one tooth that's slightly out of place only adds to the charm. <laughs> oh, it actually did, like, not break it, but damage it a little bit? Whoop, uh oh. At least that's what Rowena always told me. Don't you think so, too? Oh, you're really too sweet. I'll let you in on a secret. From leftover pudding to stale flatbread, no matter how hard a piece of food gets, you can always soften it up by soaking it in hot water. Uh, uh okay. Sure. <laughs> of course, it wasn't. It doesn't taste as good then, but at least it's easy and easy on the jaw. And we all have to make sacrifices, right? At least that's what I tell the children when I have uh, when I have. When I have for their su- yeah, when all I have for their supper is day-old porridge. Ugh. Well, we're gonna have to work on that, I think. Satisfaction up! Zlo- yeah, Leapo now considers you a patron of the orphanage. Ooh. I'm a patron now. Zlo- yeah, Leapo is delighted by your efforts. She now considers you a patron of the orphanage. So what does that do for me? And yet there's still much work to be done before the finances of Menfina's arms are stable. To that end, Zloe Aliapo has a new favor to ask of you. A new favor? Oh, but how far Menfina's arms has come. From teetering on the brink of bankruptcy to clinging oh so desperately to life. We now find ourselves this close to achieving our dream of actual stability. And that's all thanks to you. And me. And our clients, of course. And the children, too. What are we talking about again? <laughs> oh, that's right. 
Zloe set her sights higher and higher in search of her biggest client yet. You'll never guess who it is. Uh, I'll give you a hint. What begins with a mmm sound and rhymes with Ailstrom? Give up? I'll tell you, the Maelstrom. <laughs> a kind regular here at the Hard Place told me that the Admiral's planning to hold a massive war game of sorts. Doesn't that sound fun? Mmm, as long as it's just a game. And what kind of scare and, uh, oh, doesn't that sound fun and kind of scary, but fun? Anyhow, the word is they're looking for all the equipment they can get their hands on. Cannons, cannonballs, uh, more cannons. I have the list around here somewhere. Anyhow, I'm sure you can see where this is going. If you could procure for me a healthy stock of top-of-the-line naval material, I can guarantee you'll be positively swimming in gill. But hopefully not drowning. Did Slowy mention that she can't swim? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but where are uh, where were we? Oh, of course. I've written up a brand new register of items for you to procure. You'll take a look, won't you? Remember, it's not just Slowy who's counting on you. We must think of the children. Exactly. Ooh, the custom deliveries list for Zloe the Aliapo has been updated. To view the, the new list, speak with Zloe and select Make a Delivery. Yeah, let's go see what's new. Oh, it's Dexter! Zloe's on the verge of making the biggest deal of her life. I will succeed. I must. For the children. Alright, so what's new? We have Maelstrom Material, Dustfall Moss, ooh, that's one, and Red Sky Coral. I found Blue Cloud Coral recently. I wonder if I was... I wonder if that means I'll be able to find this a little more easily. Not entirely sure. But uh, wh actually, one of, the one of the things I wanted to point out is that the items that I collected to finish level 2 of this, or to get into level 3, was the fishing item. I don't remember what exactly what it's called. Let me actually look it up for a moment. I can do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Fish guide. Yeah. It was, if I can recall... Da -da 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 Ah, I think it's down here. Was it this one? Yeah, the Ghost Fairy. I think, was it, was it the Ghost Fairy or was it a diff different one? Maybe it was just the Ghost Fairy. I thought it was something different. Oh, it's because the other one that I saw from fishing was the Ice Fairy. That's what it was. Ah, okay. And actually, you know what? That specifically reminded me of stuff that I still haven't done with fishing yet. So I am going to go do that. But first, I'd like to point out something. Um... So, for the longest time, I've had access to... Let me actually bring it up here. The Beast of Brewer's Beacon. I completely forgot about that for some time and realized you know, the other day, after doing this... Uh, after catch catching those ghost fairies, I should probably go catch that fish that was needed because it was difficult for me to go find or and catch. Only for me to realize I did catch it before. But I had no evidence of where it went. I'm not entirely sure what happened to it. Let me actually pick that back up. And actually, I can prove that I found one. Uh, what was under? Under, under was a fishing? It was under the a fishing log. Oh, it was under records. You can see right here. I saw the Titanic sawfish. It was 191.7 ilms, the highest I got for deep sea. And I had no idea where it went. I don't have any any evidence of what happened. So I think what ended up happening, even though I don't remember is that I somehow thought I didn't need it anymore and dis- and, uh, 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 dis desynthesized it. So, I had to go and catch another one. Managed to catch it first try. So, let us head back to, uh, Limsa Limonset and finally hand in that quest. Oh, actually, should mention, you know, I did catch another one. I should actually add that to my inventory to show that I actually did. That'd be smart. So, let me see, back into my saddlebag is where it was. It was right here, the Titanic Sawfish. There, now it's ready. Okay, so let's head back to Wawa Lago and finally hand this in. Back over by the Cullen. Nope. Uh, Fisherman's Guild, there we go. I forgot where it was for a moment, for a moment there. Whoops. Wawa Lago, where are you? Nope, you are down this. Oh, yeah, first of all, I need to go back to being the Fisher. That'd be smart. Yeah, okay. Nope, this direction. Hey, Wabalago. You guys are doing okay? <clears throat> I wish to someday run to, uh, run to Earth. That is to say, haul out of the water the Nepto Dragon. As a, her as a hydrophobe of the, first, uh, of the first water, so to speak, I seek skilled fishers to assist me should that day ever dawn. 
Oh, I thought for some reason you were related to this quest. I guess not. Maybe you will in the cutscene. Is the deed done, or is the dream dead? Did you catch a Titanic sawfish? I caught a second one, specifically. Here you go. A Titanic sawfish by the belly bursting with bream. Valley adventurer, fine fisher. Now the news. It was but once that I caught an old one. Ten years younger, I was. Bloody and bruised were my hands afterwards, sliced like sirloin steaks by the rod and line. Was I afraid? Never. Finishing a fever that burns too fierce for fear. The old one you seek is known as the Navigator's Brand, and she wallows in the waters off the, be uh, off the Brewer's Beacon. Mayhaps you hear her. Listen. Alas, Western Lenosha lacks the proper propinquity. Propin- propin- yeah, propinquity. I used a Yumizuno, if I remember, and I do very vividly, uh, yeah, do very vividly as we do vanished valuables. A clear day it was, too, the sun high in the sky. The hour? I know it not, nor need to know. The old one needs all your knowledge and skill to catch, Valiant Venturer, and exceptional equipment is an excellent means to an end, to be sure. Go fish, Dexter! The second best fisher in Eorzea! Go fish! A gathering rating of 290 or higher is required to successfully catch an old one? Oh. The fish will escape otherwise, so keep yourself accordingly bef uh, equip yourself accordingly before performing this task. Oh! I thought the Titanic Sawfish was the only thing we needed to catch for this mission. Huh! Well, what's my current rating, actually? Uh... Oh. <laughs> I need a gathering of 290? Hmm. Well, I could get myself materia that I haven't done in a while, so let's try that. I need to go grab some more materia, actually. I can do just that. Da -da -da. Navigator's brand. Hmm. I'm going to have to take a look at the list to figure out where exactly that is. So I need to get back to Hawker's Alley. Now, let's see. Hello, LaCale! Let's see, I'm going to need some gatherers. Aha, gather, uh, gatherers Gerderon. So I have, I call level four, so let's take those. Yeah. And now let's, oh, what? Miss Tanya, where'd you get the five gil from? I mean, I'll take them. Oh, nope. Uh, and trust gil. Take the five. Thank you. Don't know where you got that from, but thank you. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so let's actually uh, uh, equip that stuff. So, I mean, I probably. Ooh, you know what? I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm realizing? I probably should be equipping the uh, stronger stuff that I have. So let's uh, equip the. Yeah, all this stuff increases this stuff. Let's try these. Uh, I'm just gonna vest with the gloves. Yeah, gathering. Oh, that automatically puts it up to where I need. So I'm never. I'm not even gonna need the materia. Darn it! I didn't consider that. Uh, am I good on everything else? I think so. Still spirit bonding with these, and I have the highest stuff that I can for these. Okay, so let's actually <laughs> put this whack away. Didn't need any of them. Whoops. Uh, here you go with that. There we go. All set. Now, let's see. Na no locate a navigator's brand. Was that the same spot that he wanted me to do? Uh, let me double check. I didn't... F no, I didn't think I found any. Let me actually double check the... Database to see if we can find that. So it was a uh, navigator's brand. So let's just type brand. See what comes up for that. Whoops! Didn't mean to move my camera, uh, move my character like that. Let's see what comes up here. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that some weapons are called brands as well. Uh, da 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 da. da. Oh, that's the furthest I can go with that. Interesting. Oh, because so it's looking under. Wait, is it looking under all categories? Yeah. So. Why is the fish not showing up on this list? I see a bunch of armor. Yeah. This armor and the brand new ring. And then... Diamond brand and ice brand, but I don't see the navigator's brand. Huh. Well, let me see. Maybe it's under seafood. Let me check that. Okay, and then... Actually, type navigator specifically. Gator. Yeah. Let's see what shows up here. They, oh, wait, Navigator's Brand, there it is. Why didn't it show up on the other list? That's odd. Let's see. Oh, 
I might... Ooh, I might be within the correct time for this. I... Am I? I think I am. Okay, so I need to go to... Where is this? Clear skies. Uh, da, 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 da. Where does it say I needed to go again? You mean, oh, uh, yeah. It said, did say the Yumizuno. I remember that. So... Oh, Western Lone Osha. That's right. Okay, let me, uh, let me teleport over to Western Lone Osha then. Da, 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 da. Oh, interesting. Swift perch and airport. Oh, okay. Let's see where I can go from here. So, people are saying... Wait a minute. It might be a spot that I've already gathered from. I think it... Yeah, because I've gathered from all the places I can here. So, it wanted me to go to... Oh, wait. Oh, Brewer's Beacon. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, let's go over to Brewer's Beacon and see what we can catch. I think I'm within the correct time, but I only have... I think according to what some people are saying here, I only have two hours left according to this. So let's see what I can do. Uh, where's a good spot for me to stand? Probably right here. Nope, I can't... Okay, there we go. Now I can stand here. So let's see. Uh, oh, I need, need the Yumizuno, because I think I have one, don't I? I thought I... Did. Yes, this one. Yumizuno. Okay, so have that. Make sure that's selected and might as well be patient. Oh, snag as well. Patient and go. Let's see what we can find. Probably should have checked the release list just to make sure I don't just automatically release anything I don't need. But that's fine. Should be okay. If I don't happen to catch this yet, then I'll worry about that later because I do have more quests I can do as the fisher. So, I'll work on those if I can't get this yet. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Oh. I don't think this is going to be it, but let's see. Nope, it's a hermit crab. Darn it. Release that. So, I don't, I'm pretty sure I haven't found... No, I haven't found it. So, let me just select all this stuff that I don't need to collect. Apply that. And try again. Wee! I don't know if I'm going to need anything more specific. I think I just said... Wait, hold on. What is my current rating? Yeah, 352. I'm definitely of the highest point... Uh, definitely surpassed the threshold for what I need for that. So I guess I just need to be lucky. Hopefully that's the case. This is probably not what I need. Nope, it's not. Okay, let's try again. Whee! Nope, not that. Oh, right, I, for I forgot that I didn't have emotes set. Here. Let's sit down for this. Oh, yeah, also set my light. There we go. Now I can actually see the end of my uh, fishing line, or fishing rod, specifically. Any time now. Whoa! Hi! Is that it? Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> that was ex exactly! Nice! Okay! Oh, I oh, no, didn't want to do that, sorry. Quit. There we go. I was not expecting to get it so soon. Oh, I was at like 130 as well that I caught it. Okay, nice. So, oh, oh still, but I can't return yet, so I'll just have to teleport back to the lower decks. But nice, I wasn't expecting to get it this soon, genuinely. Uh, let's see. I think, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good on that. So, do -do 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 -do, back on over to the Fisher Friends. Okay, I almost said an entirely different thing. I wasn't sure what I was trying to say, honestly. You know what? I feel like I should be equipped with my other stuff while I do this. So I'm just gonna really, just gonna real quick change out my equipment. Automatically reset it to what it was before because I didn't save it earlier. There we go. Hey, Wobo Lago! I found the thing. Did you do the deed? May have the old one observed with its oversized orbs the futility of flee, uh, fleeing the ferocious fisher? Wobo Lago is not worried. Happy happenstance is what. Uh, is what that it a oh, happy happenstance it was that I caught my one, old one and you will uh, will also be lucky with your lure. Well, hopefully that is, that is the case, but because I caught what I needed. Oh, <laughs> oh 
a Navigator's brand. The deed is done. This is the Lord of the Brewer's Beacon by the Bream. So what was that I needed to catch the Titanic Sawfish for then? If you wanted me to catch this specifically. I feel like I'm out of the loop all of a sudden because it's been so long since I've done that quest so I don't remember what the reason was. Still, this success is shocking in its suddenness. Have I been surpassed? Slipped to the second spot from the summit? I'm not worried, for there is more to fishcraft than obliging old ones. Still, Dexter is skilled to snag this second old one, and I'm less lonely at the top for uh, lo less lonely at the top for it. Oh, nice. That's a good way to look at it. A fine fish. This navigator's brand, firm yet flaky. I fancy. Hmm. Grilled with garlic and garnished with greens, or steamed with shallots, then served sautéed and spiced. A vintage viand, and this old one will make. The old one is an oblation. That much is ob uh, oblation. That much is obvious. Grab the gill pan. Let us greet the god of gastronomy. But Wawalago wa also wants this wet-aged fish, marinating in its uh, marinating its in its marine memories. Mm. A dry, no, wizened white wine. I think something from the sixth astral era, sleeping in my cellar. <clears throat> uh, still here. Abject apologies, Esselin, my admirable academic. I hereby pronounce Dexter proficient and pugnacious, fit to fish your lurking Leviathan. Ah, that's a relief. As I said, I will have to avail myself of the services of a skilled fisher once I find the Nepto Dragon. Master Dexter, I hope you'll accept a standing offer to face this hideous monster in my stead. Maybe? Fantastic! That is to say, excellent. I shall continue my travels and discover where legend becomes reality. I will return once I know more. A fine collaboration this will be. You fish, I publish. Farewell for now. That is to say, see you, uh, see you soon. Well, that went well, wouldn't you say? Now, for practice. A scholar stops by and suddenly we must supplement our skills. We're often oblivious to old ones, but they're all around us in appreciable abundance. Culling them would be quite a quill in our cat. I, uh, rec I recommend it readily. You can always take the catch to Mordona. I've been told tales of someone in Revenant's toll with terrific tools to trade for fearsome fishies. Everyone enjoys an excellent exchange, and they can say they're... and they can... And they say there are many to be had from this trader at the toll. <clears throat> the three T's, my master called it. Technique, tool, and talent. Neglect not the right equipment if you're obsessed with the old ones. Are you referring to the crafting quest, that, uh, gathering quest that I took on last time? Or was it crafting? I can't remember. Mm, what a marvelous meal I'll make of this. Should I share that with my surly Sisipu or slight her by just saving a salted slice? Uh, good question. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Ooh, what do you have here? Pill bugs, uh, crayfish balls, butterworm, butterworm, huh. and crow flies. Do I have any of these, actually? I do not have pill bugs. I don't know if I need any. Crayfish balls I have none of. Butterworm? That's not something I have. And crow fly? I do have some crow flies already, but that's... Oh, that's just... Ta uh... I think that's just a non-live uh, non bait, so I don't need more of them. How? Ooh, hold on. Oh, yeah, these are for different things, aren't they? These are for ocean fishing, freshwater fishing, and that's also freshwater fishing. Um, let's get the butterworms. Yeah, butterworms. Oh, what did I say to get? Tomato pie. Oh, I have some already. I th oh, yeah, I did make some recently, I think. Yeah. Quest complete. Whoa, that was weird. I like big fish and I cannot lie. Ooh, you have another quest. What's this one? Feast of Famine. As a great fi uh, as a great a fisher of man as he is of uh, uh wow. As great a fisher of men as he is a devourer of fish, Guildmaster Wawalago reels you in with a choice challenge. This is, this is an extension of the Brewer's Beacon quest, I take it. So we're going to have to find a particular... I'm assuming a particularly hard-to-find fish. 
The arrival of an audacious adventurer is always an auspicious affair. I have a word for you if you would wait but a what? Whew. All this long while have I, Wawalago, wielded the willow, and so I have an unparalleled understanding of the calamity's copious consequences for creatures that cavort in courses and comers. Such confusion and chaos caused by the calamity. Fish are found far from where they once frolicked, like the loosing of the legendary Nepto Dragon in New Domiciles. With which I wander into today's topic. The realm rings with reports and rumors of fantastic fish, incredible uh, ichthyic impressions that indicate an onslaught of old ones. Better than old ones, living legends. Only a false fisher fails to fling himself in such a fortuitous find. Lenosha, the Black Shroud, and Thanalan were, uh, were, were where these rousing reports arose. The dearth of details does deter dil uh, dilettantes, hmm. despite the delights of living legends. But you're a fully fledged fisher, flush with frills and fundamentals both. Lure all three living legends into the light of day, or die despairing. I'd rather not do the latter. Enervated by the enormity of the Enterprise? Practice makes perfect, so you might ply your pole against all the old ones first. If only I were footloose and fancy free like you. It's my fatal flaw that I'm indisposed as well as too important to indulge in my instinct for ekithic inspection. Okay, so we have to go find more of those rare fish, I take it, from three different locations. We need to find living legends fished in Lenosha, the Black Shroud, and Thanalan. But it doesn't tell me what they are, does it? Maybe it does here. Ooh. Oh, it just says living legends. Hmm. Well, that doesn't really help with what I need. It doesn't tell me specifically, does it? Uh, certainly has a way with words, though, which we, uh, not even Navigator can say. Console yourself by catching the three living legends and then present them to a lago. It doesn't specify what they are, so I don't know if what I need to be finding. Uh-oh. That's gonna be a while, I think. I think what I'm actually going to do is wait to finish this one. Yeah, I think I'll wait to finish this one. I'll look up exactly what I need and then try to find them at a separate time so that I won't be just sitting here doing, feeling like I'm doing nothing because I don't know where to go. So I'll do that some other time. Instead, what I'd like to do is continue with the quest that I was originally doing with the Fishers because I do have Invasion of the Supper Snatchers here. I need to go all the way back to Corthus for this. So let us return to Foundation and see what the next thing is. All right, so I need to go back to, yeah, it was back to the Forgotten Knight that I need to go. Ethernet over to the Forgotten Knight. I almost forgot where it was on the map, or on the list. All right, buddy, where are you? You are Believer down here. Yes, there you are, Unsolm. What do you have for today? Invasion of the Supper Snatchers. Unsolm is on the lookout for a suitable substitute. A substitute? Good day to you, Dexter. You're just the person I wanted to see. I'm sorry for forcing, uh, foisting this on you without any warning, but could I ask a favor of you? Sure, what's up? You remember that girl Reyna, the one who beat in the fishing contest? I do. Well, she sent me a message saying she needs an experienced angler to come and fish her out of a spot of hot water. Hmm. She hasn't been, uh, she's been trying her hand at a little chocobo hunting over in Dravania. She didn't go into the details, but it seems some problems cropped up that only a master fisherman can solve. Finding ch by hunting chocobos? Huh. I'd go and lend her a hand myself, but I've got some business of my own to attend to that's going to keep me in the city for the foreseeable future. Sorry to drop in on the, uh, drop it in your lap like this, but would you mind heading over in my place and see what's going on? Sure. The Chocobo Hunters work out of an po uh, outpost in the Dravanian Forelands. Tailfeather, they call it. Thanks for taking care of this one for me, Dexter. And pass on my best wishes to Reyna, won't you? I shall certainly try. All right. I'll refer to the Tailfeather to see what the problem is. Also, I forgot I need to actually remove Feast of Famine from my list here. Make it a little easier to see what's up. So, I'm going to get back into my journal and turn off Feast of Famine for now. There we go. So, where did she go? Directly ahead of me. Aha! 
right next to a person named Sten. Okay, you are related to whatever this is then. Hello, sir. Hmm. Huh, not a quite much of a talker, huh? Well, Reyna, what's the issue? Finally, you made it. Thanks for coming, Dexter. Uh, hold on, where's Ansalm? Isn't he with you? Uh, apparently not. He needed to stay for another reason? Didn't think he was up to the challenge, huh? Well, at least he had the good sense to send along a suitable replacement. You're thrice the fisherman that great a galoot is, and it's angling talents I need to get us out of this mess. For the past few years, I've been coming here to Tailfeather for the start of the hunting season. It's dangerous work, but it has its rewards. Why, just a couple of weeks, chocobo hunting can keep a girl in balloon bugs for the rest of the year. Oh! Okay, that's why. You were hunting chocobos to get bait. Huh. And after a long day's hard work, there's nothing like a... Uh, yeah, there's nothing I like better to... Yeah, I can't talk for some reason. There's nothing I like better than to head to the riverbank and catch a few carp for the hunter's supper. The problem is, someone's let a school of carnivorous catfish loose in the river, and they're running riot. That's not good. At this rate, they'll have gobbled up every fish in the river before the season's out. I've convinced the hunters to try and catch these monsters before it's too late, but they've had no luck so far. It's no surprise, really. Half of them don't even know which bit of the tackle to throw in the water. That's where you come in. I need you to help me catch a few of these whiskery invaders and show those hunters how it's done. What do you say, Dexter? I say I'm in. If my master plan works, it's not only the future of our fish suppers that'll be saved for posterity, but the chocobo hunt itself. After all, you can't catch chocobos on an empty stomach. Isn't that right, Stanny boy? Ah, <sighs> looks like Stenny's away with the fairies again. I better stay here and keep an eye on him. We wouldn't want him doddering off into the Willem and giving these nasty catfish something meatier to wrap their teeth around. You think you could put my plan into practice yourself? The hunters I sent to catch the catfish should still be upstream somewhere. Just follow the river to the north and you're sure to bump into them sooner or later. They might not have caught any of those pesky pescatarians yet, but, I'll, uh, but like as not, they'll know where to find them. Alrighty. Hmm, still not talking, huh? None of the chocobo hunters around here are anglers, but every one of them can track an animal even underwater. Just follow the Willem, uh, the Willem up north and you'll soon bump into them. They'll be able to tell you where those horrible fish are hiding. All right, I can do just that. So head up north. Let's go, hello. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be passing, nope, I didn't pass a uh, point yet up here. It was behind me, right? Oh, I did pass it, it was, wait, was it? I thought there was supposed to be a vintage... Oh, yeah, vintage boys, right over there. Okay, I was wondering where it was. I forgot. I knew it was somewhere close. I just didn't think it was... I didn't think I didn't pass it. All right, so we're heading pretty far north, right over to the hundred throws. At least to the east of it. Oh, just, just past another point. Don't worry, I'm going to get to those eventually. It's just taking a while. I want to try to get everything in... That was available in A Realm Reborn before I go and do the ones here in uh, Heaven's War. There you are, Hunter! Or Hunters, I should say, because there's I see two others here. Well, I'll be. If it ain't that Fisher Reyna, uh, Reyna's been going on about. The absolute apex of angling, or what have you. If you're half as good as he, she claims, we'll have these horrors sorted out in no time flat. These Shadow Whiskers are eating us out of house and home. They ain't native to this area, see. Some lunkhead hunker, uh, hunter decided to bring them in special when no one was looking and sent them free in the river. Why would they do that? That's just going to destroy the environment if you bring in something that's a natural predator to everything else. And you know what he did? To make the chocobos think twice about crossing the river so the lazy beggar didn't have to hunt so far. Oh. That's why he did... Really? That's ter... Seriously? Ugh. As if some fish is going to scare us, Tem Foam Racing Bird. The Shadow Whiskers have, fu uh, have put the fear of the gods into the ri uh, all the other river dwellers, though. The fish would have, uh, the shift would have been here all along, just ain't quick enough to escape them. So the monsters are having a field day, proper gorging themselves like. We tried all we can to fish them out, but the slippery beggars just won't take the bait. 
They head down river to hunt, but most of them are holed up around here in the basin of the hundred throws. It's the big ones in the uh, in the best nick that are the most trouble. If you could show us how to go about catching them, we'll take care of the rest. I reckon three big ones should be enough to re uh, teach us the knack. The fish themselves you can give to Reyna. I'm sure she'll find some use for them. Okay, so we're supposed to catch Shadow Whiskers in this area. I don't think I've actually fished here before, so... Um, I don't have the correct bait, do I? The bait that I currently... Wait, I have one for... That's apparently for shoreline, so that's not what I'm looking for. Was the butterworm for that? Yeah, it's for freshwater fishing. I could use the butterworm for this, so let's actually try that. Set to butterworm, and I have not been here before, so I can't release, so let's... Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Okay, so make sure... Whoop, nope, here. Make sure snagging is active, and... Cast! Let's see what you find here. I have 99 butterworms, so I have plenty of time, uh, plenty of chances to catch what I need. Speaking of which, have a seat. Because this is probably going to take a while. Let's see what we find. Oh. Bait I'm using is not suited for this location, so I can't use that kind of bait? Oh, interesting. So it's not the butterworm that I need. Let me put that away then. And the Yumizuno, that's used for... Yeah, used primarily for shorelines. So let's not use that. Let's see what else we have here instead. Curls used for ocean fishing. Stoneflies used for freshwater fishing. I could use that, but I only have the one. Why do I only have the one? That's odd. Uh, what else do I have here? I have the red balloon, which is for... I think that's actually for... Yeah, that's for cloud fishing. Uh, metal spinner. Maybe the metal spinner? Not sure. Oh, I remember actually buying these specifically so I could catch the ghost fairy from before. Let's see if that's actually going to be enough. Remove that and see if I can get this. Cast. I don't know if it's what I need, but I will try. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's something... I'm pretty sure it's going to be easy because I just need to collect three of them. Or I do need to collect three of them, so they should be easy to catch. I just don't know what kind of bait would be best for it is the thing. Oh. Okay, here's the first catch. What do we find? Nothing. Darn it, it got away. Okay, let's try again. Maybe I am using the incorrect kind of bait here. I'm not sure. I like the fact that I the fact that I caught nothing here so far means this is still an undiscovered fishing hole. <laughs> that seems silly. Don't worry guys, we're gonna find these things eventually. I just don't know when. Oh. This could be it. Huh. Still nothing. Okay, I'll try one more time. It's odd how the fish keeps getting away specifically. I wonder if maybe it's the I'm using the wrong kind of bait to catch this. So I'm going to have to see what I have for uh, other freshwater stuff. If this doesn't work, of course. Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's try something different then. Back to my saddlebag. What else do I have here? Ta -da. That's for coastlines. The spinner is specifically for different situations, so maybe I'll try the spinner as well. That's for ocean fishing. That is... The stem is for freshwater fishing. Maybe I could use this. Maybe. Snurble tuff could might work as well. Let's... Take that out for now and the stem bore and see how we do from here. So, uh, let's try the spinner first. If I don't catch anything here, then I'll switch to one of the other baits. See if that does anything. Unless it turns out any... Oh. Okay, yeah, that's the incorrect kind. So, not what I need. Not the metal spinner and not the regular spinner. So, maybe... The uh, snurble fly or stem borer will actually work. Let's try that. Let's try the snurble fly first. See if that does anything. Okay, it wasn't that either. So let's try the stem borer. See what that does for me. 
And while I'm at it, let me put this uh, snorkel fly. Oh, I can't do that while I'm fishing. Never mind. I was going to put it away while I was doing this. That's not r right either? Huh. Okay, so the only one that's been working so far was the metal spinner, but that hasn't been able to get anything for me. Huh. Ooh. I wonder if the topwater frog would be enough. I'm supposed to be looking for catfish, though, so this is specifically, like, larger prey such as pikes and tri- Ooh, maybe it is the topwater frog. Let's try that. Let's see if that does anything. And go! It's not that either? Are you kidding me? No is nothing I have going to be what I need? Uh, let's try... Hmm. Effective in lakes. Ooh. Rainbow lore. Maybe that's what I need. Oh, wait! I have one specifically effective in rivers. Maybe it's the spinner bait that I need. Not that. Uh, let's try this rainbow lure first. See what that does. If it actually does anything. <laughs> nope. Okay, so it must be the spinner bait. Let's see what this does then. Really? That didn't work either? It specifically said it was for rivers. This is clearly a river, right? Or at least it leads into one? Huh. So it's none of that either? What else do I have? Uh, I have a streamer. Uh, that's for larger carnivorous fish living... Ooh. Carnivorous fish. Freshwater fly. Maybe that's it. The streamer. I do have all that, that, that. Does it say... Well, it doesn't specifically say where it's used for. It just says it's used for co uh, casting from shore. So I guess that would be specifically for ocean water fishing. Everything else? That's also ocean fishing. Yeah, so let's actually try this streamer. Maybe that's what I needed. Let's go. If it turns out to not be the case, then I'm going to have to look up what the heck I need for this. Because I've never run into this problem before. Okay, I'm going to have to look up what the heck I need then, because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, so searching for seafood, we need to find Shadow Whisker. Okay, Shadow Whisker. Did I spell that correctly? No, I did not. There we go. Nope, I didn't. I didn't even spell that correctly. With... Nope. Whisker. Now do a search. That doesn't show up either. That's... Oh, that's why I expressed it with two W's. That's odd. You don't spell it with two W's? There we go. There's the Shadow Whisker. Let's see. Freshwater fish found in the hundred throws. Yeah. Oh, really? Wait. D oh. So one of them was the Stonefly Nymph, but it says you can do it with the Versatile Lure as well. Okay. Stonefly Nymph. Am I able to actually get any more of those? I know I can. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I do have that. So let's actually try... Let's use up the one that I have in here and then grab the Versatile Lure that I have. Because I'm able to get it with that as well. So let's actually try to get it with the Stonefly Nymph first. And I think it's... So Wait, did someone say something specific of this? Yeah, it needs to be a strong bite. So let's actually try to be patient about this. And go. I mean, just doing it this way increases the chance of it being a high quality. That's the thing. Not the chance of be increasing... Of getting the strong bite. That's not what I needed. We needed to be the strong bite. Oh, even then it didn't get it. Do I still have that fish left? No! I used it up. Okay, let's try the versatile lure then. I started to think I should be using the versatile lure for everything going forward because that seems to be the thing that I need the I'm able to use the most. Other baits just feel like they're not usable at all. 
Either that or, like it says here, you need a very particular kind of bait. Ooh! Oh, is this it? Well, it's regular quality, whatever it is. And I got one! Nice! Okay, uh, make sure the release list is up here. Uh, okay, so I haven't caught anything other than the Shadow Whisker yet. Huh, okay. So I guess I just keep going after this. Whee! We did to collect two more. I'm at least glad I used up that Stonefly nymph so I wouldn't be take up, taking up space in my inventory unless I need it for something else. Later, I don't know what. Oh! Yes. Yes. Regular quality. But it is another Shadow Whisker. Okay! So, wait. These are the only ones I've caught so far. So does that mean this is the only fish I can catch with the versatile lure? That seems wrong. Unless it's... Well, I was about to catch something with a precision hook set, so that's not the only thing. It's just... I guess it just happens to be that I got the Shadow Whisker twice in a row. Maybe that's it. That makes sense. Let's see how good I do in this one. Come on, fishy. Oh, no! Wrong one. I was anticipating the double hook, the powerful hook set. Nope, not what I needed. Okay, let's try again. Whee! I just need the one more. Hopefully, I get what I need. Oh! That might be it! Is it still regular quality? Yes, it is. <laughs> but I got everything I needed! Sweet! Okay, now let's head back. Oh, oh hold on. Do you have anything new to say now that I caught them? Them Shadow Whiskers are all holed up around here in the basin of the Hundredth Rose. If you could show us how to go about catching the slippery buggers, we'll take care of the rest. Well, the way that I figured it out was trial and error, and eventually just looking it up afterwards. Uh, I know that, that I know how ridiculous that sounds, but I didn't want to be stuck here not knowing how to get something done. Uh, oh, music didn't go, do it correctly. Whoop! Ah, camera, help me. I don't like how you started acting up today of all days. Oh, nope, you go this way. Hey, now I'm back in town. Hello, Reyna, I have things. Do you have anything new to say now? No, thoughts not. How's this whisk uh, shadow whisker hunt going? I'll take, uh, it'll take every trick in the book to lift those monsters out of the water, but you know the book backwards, right? Um, sure. <laughs> I found the th three that I needed, though, so here you go. Wow, you did it! I knew I could count on you! Why did I re hire a random Moogle? <laughs> Weird. And the Chocobo Hunters saw everything, did they? The lure you chose, how you set your line, the flick of the wrist that set the hook. Excellent! Now that they've seen how it's done, you can leave the rest to us. We'll have the Willem back in his old, uh, good old self in no time. One good turn deserves another, but I've exhausted my supply of fascinating fishing stories. How about you, Stenny boy? Any exciting tales of angling and adventurers to tell your old friend Dexter? Mm -hmm. Apparently not. I I've got a story for you. That was a jump scare. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Long ago, when me granddad's granddad was but a boy, he met with his traveler's trader who'd come over from the far east to flog his wares. Among these merchants, stock was a bucket of wriggling red worms that seemed to glow with heat. Naturally, the boy asked him what they were all about. Them's magma worms, my son, the merchant said. Or some such far eastern powder as makes no difference. Back where I come from, the fisherfolk use them as bait. Hook them to a steel line and drop them in a volcano, and you'll pull up a fish like that which you've never seen. 
course, he said, it's a dangerous game. Fishing in a pool of molten rock. One false move and you're coming up crispy. Still, there's many, uh, there's many back in the east who risk life and limb to make it their business. We'll call them the famous hell fishers. Or so my great-great-granddad was told. What a story, Sten! Could there really be fish that live in lava? If there are, I want to catch one! It sounds like we'll need some of those magma worms, though, and I can't say I've ever heard of them. Maybe Ensemble would have an idea where to get a hold of them? He's traveled all, all over the world, right? That does make sense. You want to be a famous hellfisher as much as I do, don't you, Dexter? Perhaps Ensemble might know where you can find some of those magma worms. Maybe. And do you have anything new to say now? No. <laughs> Figured he wouldn't. Okay, then. Let us teleport back on over to... Make sure I'm going to the correct place. Foundation. Okay, okay. Back on over to the forgotten night. Once more. I'm probably going to be coming back and forth here today because I want to see if I can get at least to start the level 60 quest today. Hello again, Anselm. Welcome back, Dexter. Judging from that satisfied smile on your face, I'd say you've managed to solve Reyna's little problem. I knew you could do it. You have something... Oh, you have something to ask of me? By all means, fire away. Speaking of fire... <laughs> Red glowing worms. You're not going to believe this, but I've got a few of these magma worms of yours right here in my pocket. That's a strange thing to say, that you have to randomly have magma worms in your pocket. Regardless, a pair of adventurers were in here earlier, a botanist and miner selling their diggings. I've bought a few wrigglers of them of, uh, that fit that description. You know what? I'm not really one to say that because I keep my bait in my chocobo saddle, so that makes sense. I thought they might be decent fishing bait, but it seems they're not cut out for the cold. As soon as they hit the water, they turned hard as a rock. Perhaps they'd fare better in the heat. Here, consider them your reward for taking care of the business with Reyna for me. If you're thinking of trying your hand at this hell fishing game, Dravania is your best bet. There's a string of volcanoes in the forelands, up where the dragons dwell. Just... Promise me you won't go getting yourself killed, right? I can make no promises! And I have stuff that I already have here, so... Ooh, what's here? Hold on. Dark chestnut fishing rod, which I actually don't need. I have the... I think I have a better fishing rod already. Magma worms, and... Ooh, hell fishing allows you to cast your line into magma. Oh, ho, ho. well, I'm gonna take these silver pieces at least and complete the quest that way. You now have acquired the skill of hell fishing. Cast a line into lava and see if anything bites. Nice. Whoa, that was a lot of experience. Alrighty, Ensemble. Let me guess. This one's going to require me to go hell fishing, isn't it? One man's fish is another man's poison. Ugh. Ensemble would engage your assistance in a matter of life and death. That doesn't sound so. Uh, sound good. Ooh, hello, sir. Hey, what up? Ah, Dexter, your timing is impeccable as ever. Listen, we've got a bit of a problem here, and I'm going to need your help to get it sorted. This gentleman here is an old friend of mine from back home, in the Dems, uh, in the Demets of House Rogan, uh, Rogue Carp. That's an odd name, for especially for this place. I've known him since I was a boy. The problem is, home isn't looking so homely anymore. It all started when the Lord of Rogue Corp Manor passed away. By all laws and customs, control of the state should have uh, the estate should have passed into the hands of the elder of his two sons. But the fellow is away on his travels right now and has little interest in returning to the estate. Of course, until he officially renounces his title or turns up dead, someone has to take charge of the house's affairs. Hence, his younger brother, the late Lord's second son, has assumed control as Lord Regent. But the poison is a dunderheaded fool. Where his lord father, w uh, where his lord father was well respected by the town uh, small folk for his just and generous rule, this egoist rules only for himself, terrorizing the populace with increasing, pardon me, increasing outlandish demands. Take my friend here, 
For many years, he has worked as the manor's head chef, feeding the monster from the day he slipped in, uh, slipped the breast to... Uh, wait. Feeding the, that monster from the day he slipped... Oh, I get it. Slipped the breast. I get it. But even that hasn't been enough to share... Uh, spare him from his new master's spite. The Lord Regent plans to hold a banquet to welcome an envoy from the Holy See, and has demanded to be served a platter of letter puffer, a fish that has been extinct for years. And should my friend fail to, pro uh, to provide the fish, his head will grace the platter in its place. That genuinely sounds like a horrible man. I cannot let him get away with this. <sighs> There's nothing for it. I'm gonna have to... Have to what? Unless... Might there be another way? Dexter, I beg you. Could you catch one of these letter puffers for me? It's a matter of life and death. You said it was extinct. How am I supposed to find them? The creatures may have been fished to extinction in Ishgard, but there's still a chance they survived to this day somewhere further afield. Oh, I see. It was specifically hunted here. If only we knew more about their movements. We must need to speak with someone who has an encyclopedic knowledge of the migration habits of cloudfish. I know. Sisipu. While Wawalago is out fishing, she's always got her head in an, alm uh, an almanac. Maybe she'll know where to find them. My life is in your hands, my lord. If there's any help you can offer me, I'd be most obliged. If it's letter puffer the wor lord regent wants, it's a letter puffer he'll get. But he won't get away with threatening my friends. By the time I'm finished with him, it's he who will be who has, shall be the endangered species. If you're threatening murder, that's not good. Whoa! <laughs> Hi! Sorry about that. Didn't mean to be in, your, in between your legs. I'm much obliged for your concern, my lord. This realm could do with a few more young people like you. Uh, me specifically? That's kind of terrifying now that I think about it. Letter puffers have long been extinct in Ishgard, but there's always a chance some survivors might have migrated further afield. If anyone knows where to find them, Sisipu will. Alright then, let's return back to Limsa Lamensa and see what Sisipu has to say. You know what? While I'm at it, let me just double check here. What do I have? Oh, I still have the Halcyon Rod. So, wait, do I have a better fishing rod than that? I think so. Yeah. A hollowed chestnut fishing rod. I made that recently. Uh, no, not recently, but I made that a while ago. So I don't actually need the other one that they got me. The dark chestnut fishing rod. So I'm actually going to just uh, desynthesize this real quick. Because I don't need it. Ooh. Fieldcraft 2 demi material for that. Nice. Uh, let me actually go dis deposit this stuff in here that I don't need. And then I'll go talk to Sisipu. So many people! Uh, let's see, it's supposed to drop them off for LaCale. Yeah, that's right. So I need to entrust the dip fieldcraft materia, and I need to sell this. There we go. Thank you! Okay, now let's go talk to Sisipu. Let's see. Back on over to Fisherman's Guild. Hi, Sisipu. It's been a while. Well, well, well. Look what the catfish dragged in. It's nice to see all that fame and fortune you found as a master fisherman hasn't stopped you paying your old instructors a visit. What can I do you for, Dexter? I'm uh, trying to find a fish that went extinct. You want to know how about letter puffers? Then you've come to the right place. When you went to Corthus and caught those cloud cutters, it made me realize the guild was lacking in its learning about cloudkin. So, I bought up every book I could find and read them all from cover to cover. Letter puffers are a type of flying fish that are packed to the gills with a potent poison. Slice out the venom sack and their meat makes for a tingling taste sensation. But a prick in the wrong place and you won't be leaving the latrine for a week. Ugh. As for their migration habits, I'm sure I read something. Ah, yes! Westerlies! Whenever the Wester vein swung to the west, the Ishgardian nobles would go uh, go out in force to catch as many as they could. And they caught a fair few, all right. By all accounts, they fished the poor puffers to extinction. In Ishgard, anyway. It could be that they still colonize the clouds for the west, over in Dravanian territory. Try asking around over there. Someone might be able to tell you more. 
Ooh. Res residents of Mogholm? Okay, sure, I can do that. Let's head off to Mogholm. The churning mist. Okay, realizing this means I'm going to need to get some cloud fishing, I'm pretty sure. Or cloud fishing bait. So let me uh, go deal with stuff here. Put away the streamer, the magma worm, and keep the first tell lure for an... Oh, wait. How long have... Oh. I was going to say, how long have I had that for? Whoops, I forgot to take care of that. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh, put this away in here for now then. And grab something for cloud fishing. I know I have something. That's dune fishing. Uh, honeyworm is for freshwater. I have something for it, right? Ocean fishing? Yeah, it was the red balloon for cloud fishing. Actually, I'm gonna uh, sort through that. There we go. Okay, now let's see. Who do I talk to here? Someone inside Mogholm. Hello, who do I talk to? Mogwin. Uh, let's see here. Mug Mug. Is there anyone around here I can talk to specifically? Oh, Mogto. You're looking, <clears throat> you're looking for a letter puffer, P Koopo? Then Mogox the Moogle for you. He's a died in the fur fishing fanatic, Koopo. One time he was out among the floating islands for so long, by the time he... Uh, thought of heading home, they'd all moved around and he couldn't find his way back. So, do you know what he did? He got his rod out and started fishing again, Koopo. He was there in Mug- uh, He was here in Mugholm not so long ago, but he flew off to the north. He's not the fastest flyer, so if you leave now, you should be able to catch up with him. Good luck, Koopo. Okay, heading off north then. Let's go, Cloud Cutter! Cloud Cutter, say it properly, please. Take my way up and around. Let's see. Up north. How far up north? Oh, not as far as I thought. Right next to the landlord colony. But there's a gaping hole here, so I'm assuming he's trying to fish in this area. Ah, here you are. Mogok. Hiya, friend. Koopo, Koopo! Stay away, Koopo! I've got a rod and I'm not afraid to use it! Hold, hold on. What's that appetizing aroma? You look like a lalafell, but you smell like a fish. Who in the world are you? My name is Dexter. How are you doing? You're a fellow fisherman looking for a letter puffer? Well, why didn't you say so, Koopo? Any angler obsessive enough to come all the way up here just for to fish a, is a friend of mine. And I think I've got some good news for you. Those letter puffers are alive and well. And they're right here in the churning mists. Why, I caught one myself just a few moons back. It looked so delicious, I ate it up right there and then. Never again, Koopo. <laughs> Those fish aren't just toxic, they're tricky too. I've only ever managed to catch the one, and even that was an accident. A terrible bowel twisting accident. Ugh. If you do manage to catch a letter puffer that's fit for a banquet, I'd like to take a look at it. Okay, catch a letter puffer. I'm pretty sure this is going to require... Oh, hold on. Yeah. Ooh. I can't do that here. Interesting. So it's not here that I do it. Oh, wait, I can stand right here and do it. Okay. Make sure I have the red balloon active and... Oh. Okay, I haven't been here before, so let's cast. Let's see what we find. If I'm going to be here for a while, then I will sit down. Oh. Maybe not. Am I going to get this first try? No, it's not. Sky Fairy. I don't need the Sky Fairy. So I will set that here. Apply and... Oh, right. I need to uh, release that first because I don't need that. Oh, wait. I had Snagging Active already. Whoops. And let's get Patient. See how well that does for us. Red balloons, I'm pretty sure, are inexpensive and I can buy from most stores, so I think I'm okay. Whoops! Wrong option! I still caught something, though. Not the Sky Fairy. Let's try again. See if I get the Letter Puffer. Unless it turns out the Letter Puffer needs a very specific lure again, like the uh, previous fish. I hope that's not the case.
Oh, maybe this is it. Regular quality again, and this is a Cloud Rider. What's a Cloud Rider? It's not, I don't think it's used to make anything, is it? No, so I actually don't need that. Make sure I have that set here. There we go, and oh, I lost out on that. So let's actually show this again. Cast. I'll try a couple more casts, and if it turns out I don't catch a letter puffer in either of them, then I'll look up what I need to find it. Oh! Unless it was this! Nope, it wasn't that. I figured it wouldn't, but I, I you know, wanted to keep my hopes up, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see what we find. Hopefully we find it soon. I'm gonna hate it if we don't. And I'm only just now realizing this mission didn't re didn't require us to use the magma worms that I got, huh? So uh, are they not required to catch what I'm gonna need going forward then? Odd how they met how the odd how they did that. Oh, precision! Ah, uh, got away. Okay, let's. Oh, I just ran out of the uh, uh, ran out of the, the timer for the buffer. Ooh, good thing I did that then, rather than waiting a second. Oh, here we go. This might have been what I was trying to catch earlier. <gasps> it's high quality, whatever it is. It was the Sky Fairy. Darn it. <laughs> I tried. Okay, let's try a, one more use of patience. And if it's I don't find what I need, then I will look it up. Oh. That came up a lot quicker than I thought it would. Maybe this is another... One of the Sky Fairies? It is. I thought it might be. I need to make sure that I don't use it up too quickly because I'm very low in GP at the moment. I mean, I could get them back with the cordials that I have, but I don't need to use those just yet. I do almost have up to Thaliac's favor as well, so if this next one is a high quality, then don't need to worry about it too much. That's if it's high quality. Come on, buddy. Oh! I don't think this is going to be it. Oh, I missed whatever that was. Oh, you know what I'm realizing? I think I'm not wearing the correct equipment to get it because I think I might need a higher perception rating to catch it. Maybe that's why this, that's, maybe that was why I'm losing it. Yeah, it was just the Sky Fairy. So let me get those points back and equip some better stuff because that might be what was affecting me. Oh, can't change gear yet? Oh, right, because I need to quit first. Now I can do it. So let's go with this. Back to the vest. Back to the gloves. Nope. Gloves, there we go. Back to the leggings. And back to the feet. Okay, now let's try it. Be patient and cast. Whoop. Nope, that. There we go. Whew. Almost messed that up entirely. Oh, This might be what I'm looking for now. Maybe? Nope, there's another high sky fairy that I don't need. Oh, but I can mooch from this. Oh, because it was high quality, I was able to mooch from it. I hadn't done that before. Or, I haven't done that in a long time. Maybe this is what I needed. But it didn't say anything about using bait, though. Uh, using mooching, though. Huh. That'll be amazing if it turns out that that's what I needed. It might just be! Come on, buddy! Yes! Exactly what I needed! Woohoo! Awesome! I wasn't thinking it would be the ca I was like 50 50 on whether or not it was gonna be what I needed. I don't love that. Hey, my look, I found the thing. Those letter puffers live around here, but they don't often show their faces to Fisher Scoop out. If you do manage to catch one, I'd like to take a look at it. I have one that I just caught right here. You're a fantastic fisherman, Dexter. 
I never thought I'd see one of these litter puffers again. And it's such a big one, too. A fish like that would make a banquet fish for a king, let alone a lord regent, Koopo. Just make sure the chief, uh, make sure the chef removes the insides first. You don't want to end up with a letter puffer poisoning, trust me. I never thought my fur would ever be this white again. Ugh. Still, I'm glad I got to see this one, Koopo. And since you're, uh, since you're such an accomplished angler, I'll let you in on a little secret. There are fish living in stranger places than this. Long, long ago, Koopo, there was, an there was an empire who had such mastery of magic that they made a whole continent rise up into the skies. The people who put it there might be long gone, but the island's still up there, and it's full of fish. Some of the magic has spilled out into the surface and formed into strange etherochemical pools. Rumor has it that the fish in the spills feed on fiend worms, but I don't know if that's true. Maybe the Moogle who told me this was just pulling my pom-pom, Koopo. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> if you ever find your elf's way up there, you should try your hand at ether fishing, Koopo. Who knows what fantastical fish might be waiting for you in those pools. Maybe. Okay, now I can report back to Ansel. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button again. There we go. Now I can report back to Ansel. Back over to Foundation. Aetheric chemical pools. That sounds disgusting, honestly. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I get the feeling that for the rest of these missions, I'm just gonna stick with this getup because it's gonna make it much easier to collect what I need. I'm much obliged for your concern, my lord. This realm could do with a few more lung people like you. All right, Anselm. How goes the hunt for the letter puffer, Dexter? I've asked I've asked around the city, but no one's seen spine nor scale of one for many years. Maybe they really are extinct. No, they're not. I happened to find one. Feast your eyes upon this. You you really caught one? Good gods, Dexter, you're incredible! With this fish, you saved my friend's life. Here you are, Chef. One fresh letter puffer. Just be careful you don't cut open the venom sack while you're preparing the bladder. Uh, preparing the platter. We'll be wanting to save that poison for the Lord Regent's portion. <laughs> don't worry, it won't kill him. It'll just lay him low for a few days. And if you're afraid of arousing his wrath, then don't be. Just slip away as soon as the food is, ser food is served and come to me. I'll protect you. Thank you, my lord. I do believe you will. But it's not only who needs your pro uh, it's not I who not only I who needs your protection. Your people are suffering, my lord. You must come back and claim your rightful in inheritance. You were the older son that ran away. Hey, I thought I told you to keep quiet about that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, looks like the curls out of the bag, so to speak. I don't suppose there's any reason to hide it from you any longer, Dexter. That so-called Lord Regent who's terrorizing the small folk? He's my younger brother. Ever since he was a boy, he dreamed of one day taking control of House Rogue He knew that I would... St he knew that I stood to inherit, and he hated me for it. That's why I went away. So that my brother's dreams could be realized, and I could devote my days to fishing, free from the burden of lordship. But thanks to my brother's folly, that dream is over. My friend, I've made my decision. No longer will you have to suffer at the hands of that tyrannical fool. This time, it is he that shall suffer. Thank you, my lord. The small falk will be glad to hear of it, I'm sure. I'll start spreading the word that you're coming back to us. I'll give them, it'll give them the strength to put up with your brother's demands a little while longer. So, the fact that you're willing to poison your own brother... <laughs> not, to, not to kill, of course, but still. Yeesh. Well, I think we've heard quite enough of my family problems. Now, Dexter, tell me all about how you caught that letter puffer. Magical pools on floating islands? If even half of the what your Moogle told you is true, you're sure to find some pretty bizarre specimens there. I wager you're dying to try your hand at this ether fishing lark. 
And it just so happens I've got a few of those fiend worms he spoke of right here. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. You might be the better fisher, but nobody can best me when it comes to c uh, collecting bait. Now, get yourself to that floating island before I collect them back. Oh, I think I shall. And I get another hollow chestnut fishing rod that I don't need. There's the fiend worms and ether fishing. Allows you to cast your line into ethereal chemical pools. Ooh, and I also get options for rank four equipment. Let's get some for, what? Am, which one am I lowest on? I have 22 of the gathering. I have 16 of the perception. How much for GP? 14, I have less for the GP, so let's get that. You have now acquired the skill of ether fishing. Cast a line into a pool of ethereal chemical effluent and see if anything bites. Oh, I am level 64! Nice! Okay, so let us see if this next quest actually requires me to do that. Next quest being carpet, di carpet diem sees the day, as in <laughs> fish the day, or maybe. Anselm is agonizing over how to reclaim his birthright. Ah, Dexter. How have the fish been biting? I've had so much on my platter recently, what with all the preparations to return to my ancestral home, I haven't had much of a chance to... Hmm? Oh, hey. Oh, hello, Dexter. I'm glad you're here. There's something I need to speak with you both about. It's your brother, Ansel. He's asked me to assassinate you. What? You're not an assassin, are you? Oh, don't worry. I told him I wouldn't do it. After all, if I killed you, who would be who, who would I beat in our little fishing competitions? What in the world are you talking about, Reyna? I know full well my, why my brother might want me dead, but why would he ask you to kill me? I told you what I do for a living, didn't I? I travel the realm taking on what jobs I can to fuel my fishing habit. What kind of jobs did you think I was talking about? Oh, hey, <laughs> see. Chocobo wrangling, basket weaving, may happy few short stints as a bar wench? Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that one of my fishing friends was a professional assassin. Well, it's true. I specialize in taking down my marks with poison arrows. Remember how you had your bro- uh, how you had your brother eat that letter puffer poison? Seems he is keen to give you a dose of your own medicine. Right in the heart. It isn't just revenge he wants. He's afraid of me. That's why he's been making unreasonable demands of those who know me well, driving them from their homes and threatening them with death. He's trying to get rid of all who might oppose his regency. Well, as long as he's focusing his efforts on harming me and not my people, I can rest a little easier. There's just one problem that remains to be solved. Sorry to burst your bubble, Anselm, but it's not just you he's planning to harm. I happen to overhear that he's planning a new irrigation project under your house's estate. At least, that's what he calls it. All he's actually going to do is fill in the fishing ponds just to spite you. What?! That lowlife can order my friends to put poison arrows in my heart all he likes. But I'll never forgive him if he dares to man damage my family's fishing holes. Dexter, we haven't a moment to lose. Will you lend me your aid just to cast out my brother? There's only one way that I can be sure of claiming my inheritance. I must present the rogue carp ring, the ancient treasure of my house, passed down from father to son since time immemorial. Unfortunately, I dropped it in the Sea of Clouds. Oh, figures. Let me guess, I think I know what's going to happen. But there may still be a way to reclaim it. As I watched the ring descend into the mists, a cloudfish flew by and swallowed it whole. The ring is uh, highly distinctive. A blood-red jewel with the image of a leaping carp. The sigil of my house, intricately inlaid in silver. If anyone was to catch that fish... The tale of the ring's discovery would surely spread far and wide in cloud fishing circles. Dexter, mayhap your Dravanian Moogle friend might have heard aught ab about it. Pray go to him and ask him about my ring. It may be my only hope. I figured that might be the case. We'd have to actually go find this fish that ate at the ring. I could never bring myself to assassinate a fellow fisherman. 
No matter how much I'm offered, we'll be fishy friends to the fishy end. <laughs> I like that. You know as well as I how fishers are wont to boast about their catches. Finding a fish with a ruby red ring in his belly would make quite the tale, don't you think? Mayhap your Mooga friend in Dravania might have heard aught about it. Maybe. Let's go see if he has. Let's go talk to Mog again, again. Back on over at Mog Home. Near Mog Home. Okie dokie. Mount up and head north. In the exact same spot as before? Yeah, in the exact same spot as before. Huh. So I guess he just really likes that particular spot. Hey, what do you think of your cousin, huh? You like it? <laughs> I just, I only just realized that these beasts looked so similar, so I thought, eh, but silly. Hey, Muguk. What up, little buddy? Koopapo? You're looking for a ring, Koopo? It wouldn't happen to have a shiny red jewel with a picture of, of a fish on it, would it? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Malguk knows all about it, Koopo. A few weeks back, I was filleting one of the fish that I caught for my supper. I've learned my lesson about eating fish whole when a ruby ring fell out of its belly. Seeing how shiny it was and where I found it, I thought that someone must have been using it as a lure when their line snapped. I never realized it was an ancient treasure. If I had, I wouldn't have... Uh, oh... Oh, he thought it was bait, so he used it as bait. The truth is, I don't have it anymore. A few days ago, I was fishing from a floating island, and before I knew it, I drifted all the way to Abelthia, Koopo. There was a big birdman there who was fishing in a little uh, little pond, and one thing led to another. We decided to have a bit of a contest. Oh, he didn't think it was bait. He wagered it. Okay. A competition that I lost, Koopo. If I'd known he was such an expert fisher bird, I never would have wagered the th ring, I promise. Will you tell Anselm I'm sorry? Ah, figures. Okay, let's head back on over to, uh, wait, Foundation, and let him know what happened. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. Although, based on what's happening, I think we're going to have to go over to, um... The, not the sea of the sea of clouds. Yeah, the sea of clouds. In order to uh, talk to the, whoever that uh, ring was given to, and maybe I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to find a fish for him in order to exchange it. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Hey guys, I have some bad news. Okay, same thing as before. All right, Anselm. What in the world? Mugget caught the fish that swallowed my ring. What a stroke of luck! If you see your Moogle friend again, tell him that he was nothing to apologize for. Thanks to him, we know exactly where to find my ring and how to reclaim it. Oh, so he's not so bent up about it. Oh, because he knows exactly what to do. That makes sense. The birdman who won it from uh, who won it from him can only be a Vanu Vanu. And if the fellow likes to gamble, all we need to do is challenge him to another contest and win it back. Let's head up to Clou uh, Camp Cloudtop and see if we can find this famous fisher bird. Anything new to say? I'm pretty sure. If that Vanu Vanu who has my ring is still in Abalthia, the knights at Camp Cloudtop should be able to tell us where to find him. Come along, Dexter. Let's head up there right away. How about you, Reyna? Are you heading to Camp Cloudtop, then? Anselm and I will meet you there. Awesome! All right, let's do this, then. Over to Camp Cloudtop. Oh, I just, I just got, I recently saw something in chat and realized, oh, wait, someone's just asking for me being able to get promotions and stuff. And they didn't even, they apparently added too much text to be able to even write, uh, finish writing what they wanted to. <laughs> uh, I could definitely tell that was just a, one of those things then. So I'm just, I'm not paying attention to those. I mean, I'm paying attention to make sure there's not anything specific, but if it's just saying they want to offer a promotion I'm like no I'm not interested in that okay who am I talking to ah here we go I couldn't even see you guys so what are you looking at wow what a view the nobles have hit the jackpot here apparently the uh, nobles don't like to come here though it's odd 
Dexter, you've made it. I've just spoken to the knights in Camp Cloudtop, and they think they know the Vanu fishermen we're looking for. Apparently, they often see them fishing on Floating Island away to the east. However, the way they tell it, we might have some difficulty getting there. You see, the island in the Birdman likes to fish on isn't connected to the mainland. The only way to get to it is by flying. Anyway, let's head over and take a look for ourselves. Oh, and here, take this rod. I made it myself. The Vanu Vanu aren't known for their hospitality, but a gift like this will surely stoke the fire of friendship in the, uh, in the heart of any fishing enthusiast. I got a fishing... Oh, a polished rod. That's what I got? Ah, yeah, I get it. Judging by its otherworldly smoothness, one might assume Anselm spent at least three to four moons polishing this fine pole. Wow. That long just to do that? Dang. Okay, so we need to fly, right? Uh, ooh, to an area I haven't been to before. And I don't really like the way you look when you fly, unfortunately, so let's see if we can summon someone different. There we go. Pepper's a better option. Let's go, Pepper. So, we're heading off to an area I've never been to before. That's going to be intriguing. Beyond the Disappearing Falls. Oh, I get it. It's this one over with the giant water in the uh, pool, water pool in the center, right? Yeah, this is where I need to go. Uh, okay, so wait, does that mean we're going to be fishing over the side or into the water? Hmm. Maybe we're fishing into the water then. Tona Vanu. Who are you and why would you disturb my peace? Netherling appears from nowhere, like sudden squall from cloudless skies. A rare and unwelcome occurrence. I have something for you, apparently. You like it? What a handsome rod! It shines like summer sun. Netherling honors Tona Vanu with excellent gift. What can Tona Vanu offer in return? I'm looking for a particular ring. You seen it? Netherling desires return of Rogue Carp Ring. Hmm. Netherling asks asks much of Tonavanu. Tonavanu wins that ring fair and square. If Tonavanu returns ring, he returns to Moogle, not to Netherling. That is, if Tonavanu can return at all. In truth, Tonavanu has ring no more. Oh come on, really? Aw oh, man. Wild Goose Chase feels like Tonavanu uses ring to fish for Bullfrog, but as soon as Bullfrog bites, Big Cat Killer comes, uh, Cat Killer? Cat Killer comes along and strikes like lightning, ripping away Bullfrog, Lura and all. What is matter, Netherling? Tonovanu sees storm clouds gather in your brow, as if your face comes to rain. Why do you want red ring, uh, why do you want red rings so? It doesn't actually belong to me, it belongs to someone else. Evil man with icy heart threatens to destroy fishing poles. Netherling is true friend of fish if saddens, uh, to sadden so, and any friend of fish is friend of Tonuvana. <laughs> Tonavanu. There we go. Tonavanu helps you catch Cat Killer and get Ring back. First, Netherling needs to catch Big Bullfrog. Bullfrog is Cat Killer's favorite food. Use Big Bullfrog as lure to catch Cat Killer. Cat Killer that swallows Rogue Carp Ring is fierce like Raging Tempest. Netherling will know it when Netherling sees it. Tonavanu smells Netherling's friend wait on mainland, uh, mainland. He sweats more than Moogle in noonday sun. When you catch Big Cat Killer, better take it to him straight away. Okay. So, I need to boot for a Cat Killer. Is it supposed to be here specifically? I think so. Okay, so then I don't need the uh, stuff from before, like the Fiend Worm. And I also don't... Oh, wait. I also don't need the Red Balloon. And let's put the Gather's Girder on away for now. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, yeah, that is rank 4. For some reason, thought that looked different. Uh, oh, yeah, the rank 5 looks different. That's what I thought. So, I need to get something that I can use for fishing what looks like a lake. So, what do we have here? Uh, da -da -da, freshwater with a... Fr maybe that? I don't know. Let's try that one for now. Let's see what else we have here. Coastlines. Spinner. Is for river uh, river lure. That's for ocean fishing. That's freshwater fishing. So the stem borer might be okay here. 
Oh, but there's a topwater frog. I wonder if that's actually going to be what I need. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Although I need to catch a bullfrog first, so I think I'm going to need something for that specifically first. Ah, da -da -da -da. ah, effective in lakes. This might be it too. So let's see what we can do here. Wrong button. Nope, not that. This first. So let's see. Let's go by item level order. Let's try the wildflower. Uh, wildflower. Wildflower fly first. I can't say that properly. Okay, cast a line. Let's go. There we go. Because again, I feel like I'm going to be here for a while. Okay, so it wasn't that. Good to know. So, let me put away... The wild, the wild fowl fly. I can't say. I can't even say that properly. Wild fowl fly. Ugh. Okay, so let's see. Oh, nope. Wrong. <laughs> wrong button. What I needed to do was this. There we go. Well, let's try it in item order. So let's try the stem borer next. See what this does for me. Now I'll go back to sitting. There. Sheesh. I don't think this is what I'm gonna need, but I figured I'd try. If, it's gonna, if it turns out I'm just going to need the versatile lure again, I'm going to hate this. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that. Okay, let's put that away then. Now, let's see. Let's try the topwater frog next. Yeah. See what this does. Okay, that wasn't it either. Hmm. So, it wasn't the topwater frog. So, let's try the spoon lure. I'm starting to wonder if any of the regular metal lures that I have are even going to be effective for what I need going forward. Because it doesn't look like this is used for anything that I can fish at at this point. This wasn't it either. Okay, so it wasn't that. So I'm pretty sure then it is the first tell lord that I need for this. God damn it. All that effort to realize, nope, I just needed the one that I started with. I need to be able to mooch for it specifically. I have to remember that. Oh, which means I need a high quality bullfrog, actually. Well, so not this one. But I need a high quality one. So let's actually. Ooh. Hedgemill Cricket. Ugh. Okay, make sure I give away the ones that I don't need. I just need the bullfrog. There we go. And now the. Nope. Wrong button. Again. Patience. Cast. Whee! And now we play the waiting game. You know what? There's something I wanted to bring up that... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Is this the bullfrog? Well, it's low quality, so it's not one that I need. Oh! That's where I get red sky coral. Good to know. Okay. So, use that for the uh, Aliapo mission for later. What I was going to say is that I feel like I wanted to bring... I wanted to bring up something that... I guess I've been thinking of for a while. I'm about to date this video by saying... God damn, I'm about to date this video by saying I actually was recently bombarded with information about the upcoming patch, so I know about the next... That's not what I need either. I've been bomb uh, recently bombarded with information about the, the upcoming uh, expansion, and I now know about one of the different new jobs that's going to be released called the uh, Viper. I haven't, from what I've seen of it, I'm not entirely sure how interested I am in trying it. But I'm going to have to see more before I actually uh, give up my full in, uh, thoughts on that. But it did make me think of something of that, I, that I thought about a while ago. The way that they have you unlocking new classes, I feel like it would have been implemented in a different way to make it so you could try uh, as any class going forward. 
going through the game rather than waiting all the way until you get to a certain point in the story. And something I'd and I thought about it for a while and wondered how it could have been implemented that way. And I thought maybe you had if once you have the ability to once you if you have the content unlocked for getting it, then maybe you would be able to uh, have two options of unlocking it. Either you need a class that is at the current maximum level and you can just unlock it that way, or what you could do, and I'm realizing that it might not work. Oh. Oh, it got away. Darn it. Let's try again. Maybe unlocking it in such a way that it would start off as like the same level as the rogue did, or be. No, not start off at. Well, starting off at level 1 might be a little too much. Maybe starting off at like level 15 or 30 instead. Kind of like what the what you do for the rogue or the uh, other stuff available in Heaven's Ward. Maybe? Oh, shoot, I forgot to use patience there. Darn it. But I'm realizing if they did implement that option where you could unlock it at a lower level, then they would need to create class quests to go through all that. But if they do that, then every, anyone who unlocked it at the later level wouldn't be able to experience any of those. So such a method probably wouldn't work. I was just, want, just wondering how that could be implemented in such a way. It's just, it's just a thought experiment, really. No, uh, not really ex an experiment, but just a thought that I had. Ah, uh, this isn't high quality either. But it is more red sky coral. Sadly, not what I need at the moment. I've got to catch another one of them. Sheesh, why is it so hard to catch what I need? I've only f managed to find the one so far. I need a better one. I feel like I'm going to be here for quite a while. I shouldn't be, but I feel like I will. Oh, this is high quality, though. <sighs> More red sky coral. Not what I need right now. What I need is a bullfrog. Please give me a bullfrog. I could really use one. I got quite a lot of red sky coral. I might be able to actually complete the next quest for the Aliapo stuff today. <laughs> Depending on how many I manage to find before I'm able to get this cat killer. High quality catch, and it's more red sky coral. Not what I was looking for. Darn it. What I need is the bullfrog! Gosh dang it! Please give me the bullfrog. I'd really love it if he gave me the bullfrog. That'd be very cool of you if he did. Catch of the day is almost complete, so I'm... Oh, whoa, whoa, hello! What is this? Nothing, apparently. Okay, try again. Gosh, darn it. So, either my perception or gathering raising wasn't high enough, or it just happened to... It was just a chance that it could have gotten away. I hope that's what happened. But it better be... Oh, oh, again! Hold up! Could this be it? Or, nope, this isn't what I'm looking for, but this could be the thing that I tried to catch before. Well, it's regular quality, whatever it is. Excuse me? I caught it without getting the bullfrog first? Um. Okay. Cool. I, was <laughs> I didn't know that was going to be possible. That's so cool. Hey, Tanavanu. Just as there is no rainbow without rain, so, th can so there can be no uh, cat color, cat killer without bullfrog. If Netherland catches bullfrog, then throws it back in water, cut uh, cat killer will bite. Netherling's friend is nervous about finding Ring. Tonavanu hears his heart even from here. It flutters faster than Tonavanu's feathers in a thunderstorm. When you catch Big Cat Caller, the Cat Killer, better take it to him straight away. Yeah, um, I wasn't expecting to get that without the bullfrog. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. That's so cool. Genuinely didn't think that was possible to happen. 
Okay, for some reason I thought this Anzu crowd was something you guys were dealing with. Hey guys! I don't know which I'm more excited about. Having Anselm small folk or meeting some aficionado. <laughs> aficionado. <laughs> We've come all this way to the Sea of Clouds and we finally tracked down the Vanu fisherman who has my ring. The rest is up to you, Dexter. All my hopes and dreams rest at the end of your line. Well, not anymore, because I found what you needed. Or what we needed. Oh. Oh, that's a big fish. I just saw Anselm's foot in comparison. Holy cow! That's a big one. Like summer sky after rainstorm, it is clear to Tonu Vino that this is the fish that swallows your ring. Netherling is shining example to all fishermen, like bright ray of sunshine that pierces clouds. But enough talk of weather. Let me pierce fish instead. Ah, there it is. The rogue carp ring. The very same. The treasure that will secure me my birthright and let me take the rightful place as head of my house. My brother isn't the type to go quietly, but this ring should be enough to silence him. I shan't let him terrorize the small folk any longer. I'm just realizing ne your neck, dude. What happened there? <laughs> I suppose my lord won't be going on any more fishing trips in the near future, then. Huh. You may be right. If all goes according to plan, I should be able to spare my family's fishing holes from my brother's wrath. But I doubt my new lordship will have me much, uh, leave me much time to enjoy them. Aw, oh, that's sad. Do not wilt like flower in drought, noble lord. Just as Hurricane has its eye, so the most demanding duty has its moments of peace. Whenever you find yourself in such a time of calm, let the easterly breezes blow you back to my island. You may use it as and when you fish, uh, when you wish. Aw, thank you, Tona. Truly? You would allow me to use your fishing hole? You two are friend of fish, and many any friend of fish is a friend of Tona Vanu. We are brothers in fins, and even the wildest whirlwind could not tear that bond asunder. Tonavanu's fishing hole is yours to do as you please. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. I love that. I didn't even realize they had it. could make expressions like that. Tonavanu only asks that you let him visit your land sometime. A lord who t likes fishing so much must have some secret spots of his own. Yes? <laughs> You'll let me fish in your fishing hole so long as I let you fish in all of mine? <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, Tonavanu. Well, all right. But if you want to keep your presence in, presence in Ishgard a secret, we're going to have to get you a change of clothes. Uh, what's wrong with those current clothes? <laughs> they oh, they probably just don't like Vanu Vanu. Ooh, I want to try out your fishing holes too. Hurry up, Anselm. The quicker you boot out your brother re and reclaim your lordship, the sooner we can go fishing. You make it sound as if it's a foregone conclusion. Even with the rogue carp ring in my finger, my brother and his cronies aren't like to leave without a fight. It may be a moon before I can undo the damage my brother has done. Oh, stop your grumbling. You've got the ring back, and Tony here has given you permission to use his secret fishing hole. Wow, you even gave him a nickname. What have you got to, what have you got to complain about? Just get back to Ishgard and kick out your brother before he ruins your estate. Not only for the good of your small folk, but for the, for the benefit of fishing fanatics everywhere. Particularly those directly in front of you. <laughs> You're right. If being granted the use of a fishing hole is such outstanding beauty, will not give me the strength to, my, uh, to oust my brother, nothing will. Dexter, I thank you. For years, I dreaded the day I might have to end my travels and assume my lordship. But with friends like you, I know that I need not be the, it, 
that it not me need the be the end of my adventures. The next time we meet, I shall be Lord Anselm de Rogue and I'll challenge you to a rematch. Ooh, let me join in too. We can hold the next contest down there. It's such a peaceful place. You can only for, uh, you can forget about all the worries of the world and focus on fish. Indeed, just as a balmy breeze blows the storm clouds from the skies to the Edies clear, uh, so the Edies clear the sorrows from your soul. So it is a truly a fisherman's paradise. <laughs> oh, that was good. Carpet DM complete, and that gives me ooh more high cordials and patience too. Increase the chance of landing landing a large sized fish by eighty percent, while reducing hook efficiency by seventy five percent. Ooh, so the chance so you using the incorrect version of the hook ability may, it is even uh, is even worse than if you use this. Also increases the likelihood of catching an average sized fish with great uh, of greater length. Ooh, okay. And then options for stuff. Let's get... Which one of these did I have the lowest stuff as well? That. So I think more... Yeah, more BGP. There we go. Quest complete. Was that the level 60? It uh, in testing your new waters as a fisher, you have learned patience too. This concludes the fisher quest for Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed the main scenario quest, The Far Edge of Fate. Once you've done so, the next Fisher quest will be available from Sisipu. Ooh, swimming shadows. What's this? Extended spearfishing? What? Extended spearfishing is said to, on occasion, upset the balance of the ecosystem in a given area. In fact, it's been known to draw more rare and elusive varieties of fish, often found hiding in swimming shadows. Should you suspect such murky waters as are close by, you can determine their exact location using Truth of Oceans. Truth of Oceans? Is that an ability I get? Do I actually have right now? No, I don't. Interesting. Yeah, I just have patience too. Okay. Um. Okay, just wanted to make sure you're not going to hurt me. Thankfully not. Okay. So, uh, that didn't give me anything new about Wait, yes it did. Did it give me a new ability? Yeah, patience two. I need to reorder where I put these then because patience and patience two should not be separate from each other like that. Wow, cost 560 you use that ability? Oh wow, I need a lot more GP to use that then because that also requires me to use 50 points every time I want to use powerful and precision hook set. God damn. Huh, okay, so that's gonna be something I won't use for a while then, I take it. So, that marks everything that I actually wanted to do for a Fisher. I thought it would have taken longer than this, genuinely. So I still have over an hour left to this stream. So what can I do in the meantime? Ooh, I did say a while ago that I did have some classes up in level. Let's try doing one of those. So I think, I was gonna say, I'm trying to remember exactly which one I needed to go to next. Let me just get out of the way so whatever this is doesn't want to proc me, so that I can change to... Da -da 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 -da. Samurai. This quest was... This next quest was in the Shroud. That's right. Yeah, they wanted to go back to... Want that. This is the, the winds were drawing them here, if I recall correctly. So let's see what we can do for this next quest. Okay, where are you again? Oh yeah, you're, it looks looks like you're down in the. Uh, it wasn't called the Shaded Bower, was it? The Roost. That's what it was called. Why did I think it was called the Shaded Bower then? I'm not entirely sure. There you are. Hey, Mosasai. Uh, where's our ally? Oh yeah, wasn't he? Didn't he say he was gonna go get information? I think that was the case. Oh, the next quest: a fraudster in the forest. Musasai is looking for your help to look for Momozigo. Oh, Momozigo went missing? Ah, Dexter, by the strength of your aura, you have clearly captured your training. 
and in discharging the duty of a samurai in two cities now, you are slowly but surely becoming one in sooth. I hope that our time here will afford you further opportunity to grow. By the way, have you not seen Momozigo? He hasn't returned since he left us earlier. That would mean he, for me, has been gone for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> I worry that he has fallen prey to evil in the course of seeking it out. We should search for him. Let us split up and ask the locals. Surely one of them has seen our friend. I hope they have. Okay, quest accepted. Where should we go? We're supposed to talk to people in the Etherite Plaza. So, who exactly? Okay, we can Oh, we can talk to Bernadette. A hatted Lalafell. And he's a showmaster, you say? Hmm. I recall the face of every adventurer who's passed my post, but I've not seen anyone fitting that description. Sorry, I couldn't be of help. Okay, so he would have come through this way if he wanted to go to the rest of the city, right? So, he, pardon me. So he would have seen him. Hmm. That means he must have gone a different direction. Okay, who else do we talk to? Ah! Oh, no, that's... For some reason, I thought this is the person we talked to, but no. This is for the Gunbreaker quest, I think? Yeah, making sense of a Gunbreaker. I'll worry about you later. Instead, we have Oswald. A Lalafell? Until you came, the fellow dozing off hither is the only one I've seen. Oh, yeah, the one that's actually dozing off right now, I can see. I'm a, uh, now, uh, now, is there aught else I might assist you with? Helping you achieve greater intimacy with the end of elementals, perhaps? Uh, no thanks, I don't need to worry about the white mage at the moment. Uh, let's see, who else talk to? Aha! My Senta. Forgive me my bluntness, but are you not here with an opportunity for profit? Oh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Yes, I did see a Lala fellow, much like you described. He's in the process of being taken away to the Adder's Nest, though I know not the circumstance. Uh-oh! Oh, boy! Um... Hey, Musasai! Uh, we may have a problem, and I don't know why. Taken away by the authorities, you say? There must be an explanation. Come, we must go to the addled mess at once. <laughs> I forgot that it was one of his quirks that he mispronounces words. Or, specifically, mispronounces names. Place names. Is it specifically place names? I don't remember. Why, yes, as a matter of fact, we did apprehend a Lalafelon showmaster by the name of Momozigo. He was wanted here in Gridania for embezzlement. Uh-oh. What? "'Twas no large amount of coin, to be sure, but a crime is a crime, and so we took him in custody and on sight. However, that custody didn't last long, for the fellow, uh, the fellow up and fled, uh, yeah, the fellow up and fled when our backs were turned. He was then last seen heading to the North Shroud, towards Proud, Key, uh, Proud Creek, Ishal, tell, uh, Ishal held territory. We're presently deliberating whether to dispatch a search party, but in light of the risks, I fear that none will be forthcoming. If this Momozigo is your friend, perhaps you might consider searching for him yourselves. This bodes ill. Come, Dexter, we must find Momozigo before he falls out, uh, falls foul of these icky souls. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for, uh, Mo Mo looking for Momozigo in the North Shroud. Okay. Right, let's head off to the Etherite and teleport over to where that would be. Hold on, North Shroud, North Shroud, North Shroud, North Shroud, aha, Yellow Serpent Gate, oh yeah, that's right. I keep thinking this is called like West Shroud, but there is no place called West Shroud. Wrong button, there we go. Ah, Proud Creek, okay, let's go uni. Let's see here. Again, I keep forgetting how unsettling it is to hear no music while you travel. Because in these earlier areas, they didn't have music specifically for nighttime. The only time they had those were for cities. Well, there's ambient music like that. Oh, wait, no, it's going to say ambient music like that, but that's only because of the music transition. Oh, where are we going? Oh, there you are, Momozigo. Um, Momozigo, you okay, buddy? Apparently not. Oh, boy. Here, let me help out. 
What? Why did that stop? Oh, it's because I missed. That's why. Got that. And, oh, hey. Why am I missing? That's weird. I shouldn't be missing. I'm going to take care of you first and then use this on you. Yeah! Woo! Hey, buddy, you doing okay? The danger's past. What? What? He didn't even... What? He didn't even say anything. What? Why did he... Mama Ziga, where'd you go, buddy? What are you doing? Hilarious, isn't it? Here I am on a heroic quest to punish criminals with you, but all this time I was a criminal myself. I was organizing a concert at the amphitheater, you see, but the songstress bailed last minute. At the time, I had a huge debt hanging over my head and no way of paying it off. So I ran off with the money I'd collected from advanced ticket sales. I knew it was wrong, but I did it anyway. I'm no better than the crooks we've gone after. Will you punish me like you punished them? To betray the people's trust and steal from them is a despicable act. Such evil cannot be suffered. Whoa! What? You wouldn't. No, you didn't. But what did you do? There. The evil in you is excised. You have committed a crime, tis true. But so too have you dedicated yourself to fighting it. From this moment forth, do you swear to be a changed man and fight always for justice? I, I swear, I swear! I'll never do bad things ever again! I may not be able to wield a katana, but I'll fight with you nonetheless. You've not spent all of your recent earnings, I trust. You would do well to return the money you took after and beg forgiveness. If you apologize from the heart, I see no reason why the aggrieved would not forgive you for your transgressions. So go and make amends and let us continue our quest. We cannot well succeed without you. Thank you, Mososai, Dexter. I'll go and repay the money and apologize this instant. I don't think this is the evil you were referring to before. <laughs> If Momozigo aspires to evil, he is much uh, he has much and more to work to do. I can even read that correctly. As it stands, he has reformed himself and will make no more mischief. With that, our work here is done. One fewer evil afflicts the Ooh. Uh that 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 that's the second time this has happened, right? Ugh. What a little jaunt through the forest should tax me so. There's no overcoming old age. Also, it was instant the fact that he fell over. That's odd. Yet here I am, come to the other side of the world in the twilight of my years. I journeyed here to find a worthy new pupil, and find him I did. But if truth be told, I have one more objective. That is, to track down and punish a fugitive from Hingashi, a disgraced samurai known as Kogarashi. Mark my words, his is the face of true evil. And it is my solemn charge to strike him down. I had the chance to do so before, but I failed. His strength far surpasses mine now, mine own. I could not defeat him. Forgive me, I, I should not bother uh, burden you with this. Pray, dismiss it as the hollow ramblings of an old man. Come, let us return to the city. So, was that actually the evil you sensed before? I don't think it was. Hey, guys. I didn't realize we teleported immediately back. I'm given cause to doubt whether Mobozigo has learned his lesson. You're not sure? What? Why? Heh <laughs> All is forgiven, and all it took was a bit of money. 
I can come and go through Gridania as I please again. All debts are settled then. That is well. Let us move on to wherever the wind should blow. So that was the evil that he thought he sensed. That's odd. Except that Mobazika was with him the whole time. So it's odd how he sensed it from a different place. And the wind blows to its seam. To a snow-capped mountains. Mobazigo, pray lead us there. Right. This way, friends. We're going to Ishgard. Alrighty, off to Ishgard then. Alrighty, where are you? You are over by the entrance, it looks like. Yes. Oh, not not at the entrance. Oh, you're at the broom. Interesting. Wasn't expecting the broom. Also, I'm realizing I could have just, you know, walked, uh, teleported all the way over there. Hold on. Are you down? Yes, you're down here. Ow! Oh, you're below me, aren't you? Are you? No, you were above me. What? How did I miss that? Weird. Okay, let's go back up then. Because I didn't see you guys before. How did I miss you? You're not up there. Oh, you are up there. I didn't see that. I thought the fact that the uh, marker showed it was on the same level. I thought that was what it meant. But I didn't realize it was above me. Oh, <sighs> so cold. But, 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 but the way tavern goers look at outsiders is even c c colder. Whoa, certainly cold. Not built for this kind of weather, are you? Such a breathtaking snowscape. Though, uh, though each of this land's regions may not change much with the seasons, collectively they are no less colorful than Hingashi. Now then, Mobozigo and I will set uh, to tracking down injustice in this city. In the meantime, my pupil, Pray see to it your sword arm remains warm in this frosty climb. I will, sir. Thank you, sir. Quest complete, sir. So, that is going to be it for a while for this. When I complained about the cold to the old man, he told me to empty my mind. And then even snow would feel toasty warm. In other words, it's all in my head, which is to, oh, way to put, uh, which is to, which is to say put up with it. <laughs> I see. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need to be another two levels higher for this next one, right? Level 58? Yeah. So, I'm gonna have to do something else in, for the meantime, and I know exactly what that is going to be. How about we mage it up? For this, we're gonna need to head to... Lenosha. Oh, that's right, yeah, because we left him on the docks last time. Now let's go see what we have, uh, what next mission we have available for this. All right, buddy, where are you? Oh, it wasn't in the docks we left. Oh, yes, it was. For some, <laughs> for some reason, thought we were actually inside here, but no, we're outside. Hey, Zeruntia. A Vermilion Vendetta. Zeruntia has a proposal to help cure Arya's uh, memory loss. I've spoken with Arya, but it seems her memory has yet to return. The incense you uh, used must have been potent indeed to create such a lasting fog. If she cannot recover naturally, then we must rely on some similar, uh, some familiar sight, or even to jolt her senses back to normalcy. Might I ask that you take her out somewhere to test my theory? She seems far more comfortable around you, after all. Okay, sure. At the very least, I would know from whence she hails. I shall call once more upon my acquaintances in the Yellow Jackets. Surely she has family who are searching for her. Let's hope so. Okie dokie. Arya, where are you? There you are. Hi. Dexter, thank you again for letting me out of that crate. I had such a lovely sleep. That awful tiredness has left, uh, has left me, but I still can't seem to remember anything. Outside? Well, I... Yes, I suppose the fresh breeze might help blow away the cobwebs. I think I'd like to see the view from the battlements. Will you join me up there, Dexter? Yeah, sure. Ah! Don't run through me like that. That terrified me. 
Okay, up at the battlements. That's off in this direction. Ah, here you are. Directly above where we last saw, uh, where we found you originally. Look, isn't it beautiful? I've never seen anything so. Is this truly the first time I've seen this view? I try to remember, but my mind is a blank. I can be sure of nothing. Ooh, what do we say? We will make your new memories, or I forget such things myself. Um, which would be appropriate here? We'll make ooh, make new memories, maybe. But I feel like she'd be concerned that she doesn't remember anything. But then again, she doesn't seem too bothered by it. She just doesn't. It's just, hmm. Yeah, she doesn't seem bothered by the fact that she doesn't remember much. She just doesn't really know why she doesn't know. So, how about the new memories? Make new memories? Oh, I hadn't thought of it like that. It's almost a gift of sorts, isn't it? Being able to enjoy things afresh. Yeah. I think I'll stay up here a little while longer, just to be sure I'll remember it tomorrow. Oh, do you see that ship? How do they keep such massive things afloat? Ooh, what will you say? Fond of ships or fond of high places? Let's say fond of ships. We did find her in a crate that came from a shipment, so maybe that's it. I... Why, yes, I am. I think I might always have been. What an insightful question. I remember when I was a child, I would always beg my uncle to... <gasps> I remember! I had an uncle! He was my only family. He... He tried to protect me, but... Forgive me, the exact events are still a jumble, but the memory was not a pleasant one. That day, it's... It's all coming back in a rush. Do you think we might return to the inn? I need a moment or two. Yeah, yeah, I got a idea. Can't, can't rush these things. All right. Back on over to Rendezvous with Zerutia. Oh, looks like he's back inside. There you are. Zerun is back from his errand, it seems. If you would listen, I'd tell you what we have remembered so far. Ooh, cool. The Yellow Jackets were able to dig up a, a report on Arya from their records, and I heard back to share the news. But seeing as her memory of the incident has returned, I'll rather hear the tale from the source, as it were. So let's hear about it. What happened? From what I can recall, I'd always lived with my uncle. He was a kind, gentle man who would often tell me stories of my parents. I was young when they died. Too young to remember them, I think. The report mentioned you were, citi uh, you were citizens of Limsa Lominsa. Do you remember where you were when the attack came? Yeah, we were on the road to... Somewhere. The ambushers appeared as if from thin air, and my uncle stepped forward to shield me. They killed him. What happened after that is a blur, but my memory of that moment is crystal clear. Thank you, Arya. You needn't force yourself to remember the past. For now, we must concern ourselves with your future. It would not be charitable to send you back to, uh, to town alone. Especially not with significant parts of your memory still missing. Yet we cannot ask you to accompany us, either. Our journey leads us on a path to confront the very Cabal whose malevolent embrace you have been recently escaped. I would go with you, even so. You saved my life and helped me access the loss of my past. accept the loss of my past. If there's a chance my memories could return and lead you to these villains, then I would stay at your side. How can I refuse such passion? It seems we've adopted a new companion, Dexter. Ooh. 
Is she going to learn to be a red mage too? That'd be fun. The greatest challenge facing us now, however, is deciding on our next destination. The merchant man has fled, and we know not whether it's uh, whether it is ba whether it is bound. Isles of Umbra. I remember. They were the only words I heard from them speak before I blacked out. Isles of Umbra. The master calls. Oh, the master calls. These puppets do not, nay, cannot speak idly. Ready yourself, Dexter. We cross to the Isles of Umbra and confront this master of theirs. You as well, Arya. We fight together. Oh, okay, okay. Off to the Isles of Umbra then. Alrighty, let's round up and head off. Well, it's gonna be dumpy for a while. I guess that's okay. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Wait. Yeah. Over the. Oh, wait. I could just take a boat over there if I want to, right? I don't have to fly all the way over if I really, really didn't want to. Hey, fairy skipper. Yeah, off to. Oh, purchase passage. Should be okay. Yeah, 40 gil. <laughs> Screw. Yeah, I'll do. I'll just spend the 40. Why not? To get there immediately. Oh, we have an instance. Hey, guys. Oh, oh, you're a caster. Based on the type of weapon, you're a thaumaturge. Because I think I had that same weapon, or at least a similar looking one. Zarun lent me a weapon to protect myself, but need we fight these ghostly lights? Oh, looks like we're going to have to fight some plasmoids. Maybe. The Maelstrom soldiers uh, tell of a steady stream of light of tight-lipped arrivals. It would seem the master gathers all the marionettes to the aisles. I've armed Arya with that, uh, with what I had, but... I, I can fight. Mm, not so sure. Maybe she'll get over it eventually if we fight. Fight? You can barely talk, lass. I thought, for, I thought her afraid of the mages who took her, but nay, tis the thought of ghosts and ghouls which have her all... Tr uh, tr mm. Wow, pardon me. That have her all a tremble. Uh, can you believe me? Uh, no, can you blame me? The very ground here feels haunted, as if angry spirits might burst forth at any moment. Like uh, that shadowy thing behind you? Don't you dare do that to her! Ah! There's not there, lass. Now, can we get a move on, or would you rather head back to Aleport? I'm co coming with you. Well, let's see how well she does. Based on the fact that she's so reluctant, I'm not entirely sure how she's going to fight. We know the Cabal has gathered here. We need to only find them. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, you're just going to smack him? Well, I'm going to use the uh, white mage one. <laughs> Using Kane just to slap him. Wrong one. This. Hey, I was just about to kill it. Okay, that works though. Now, let's see. We are heading this further south. Gotta fight more of these dead man's moans. Come here, bro. I forgot I had double cast still. Whoops. Oh, hey, you're all grouped up. Let's do this then. Hey. Wrong one. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I cast the wrong one. I wanted to cast this one. Well, I don't need to anymore. Ah. I'm messing, up. I'm messing everything up. I'm forgetting how this class works for some reason. Ooh. Empty Maguses. Anything over here to fight? No? Okay, so it's these. Hi! Why can I not target them? We found them! Ow! What'd you hit me with that for, you jerk? There we go. Okay, more empty Megasus. They seek to delay us. Why are they holding back? 
That's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> it's like we double casted Jolt. That's awesome. Okay, continuing on. Hmm. They see they're holding back. That's not good. I want to do this. No, nope. this. There we go. Ow! How dare you? Oh! Big orb. Oh! They're trying to summon something? Not on my watch! Oh, and they only hit two of them with that? Darn it. Arise, revenant of the underworld. Feed upon my essence. Uh oh. I want to kill him soon. We're not doing a lot of damage, so I guess I'm just going to focus on these guys. Oh, boy. Fear Gorda. Let me take care of these first, because these are going to be a nuisance, so I can tell. Hey, I wanted to cast that. All right, buddy, my turn. Stack up for that because you're not gonna like getting hit by it. Woo! Don't know what that does. That did. Looked like it hurt though. Oh no, you don't. Haha, <laughs> I missed me. Uh oh. Do this. Whee! Make sure I'm back here so I can do this and then that. There we go. Don't go too ham on one set. So far, so good. Uh oh. What are these? Uh, let me deal with that while you deal with the big guy. Oh, they're in. Wait, he's invulnerable. I'm trying to take these out. There we go. Yep, destroying the lesser spirits is exactly what I'm doing. You. Now you. Oh, why'd you move? Not entirely sure why you did that. There we go. Now we're back into it. How would I do this? That's the way. Now we finish this. You doing okay there? Off to the side? You don't look like you're doing anything. Uh-oh. Um, I want to stack up for this real quick. Woo! That was close. I meant to use something else. This. Ah, so close. Whoop. Nope. Avoid that. Almost there. Less than 4%. 3, 2, 1... Yeah, got him. Ooh, that was easy, I think. You and Zarun fight so well together. I wish I'd been able to help. Well, kinda. You kinda did? The hand that controls these assassins cannot be far. Let's split it up and search, shall we? Yell if you run into trouble. I'm assuming I'm going to immediately run into trouble. Either that or they are. Nope, I do. Delectable. Excuse me? I'll have you know I am not tasty. Hi. Your mortal frame brims with vital energies. An irresistible feast. This does not bode well, I don't think. Hey, just in time. Dexter, are you unharmed? 
so far. Lambard? A pleasure to see you, uh, uh, Zeroon. My, how the years have etched themselves upon your brow. So you know this guy. This smirking bastard is Lambard. We were allies once. Ah, yes. The valiant Crimson Duelists. Such fond memories. I relished their slaughter. The duelists live on through me, traitor. Oh, going Dutch angle. Not for long, my old friend. You shall soon share their fate. Ooh. Uh-oh. Dexter! What the... Oh. You actually know how to cast magic. Crude interruptions. This is not how I wish to savor your defeat. Uh, okay, bye. Lambard! God damn you. We can't catch up to him? Then again, he was pretty spry enough to jump really far distances, so probably not. You knew that man? Yes. Yes, we'll, we'll speak of it later. First, I would know where you learned to cast spells like that. I... I don't remember anyone teaching me. It just sort of happened. Just sort of happened? I expected you to club things with that old scepter, not fling balls of fire. Incredible. So, Arya, does this mean you've overcome your fear of the undead? What are... Ah! I <laughs> didn't think so. Well, friends, shall we return to Aleport? Now that we've unmasked the Cabal's master, I can tell you this much. He is not a man we wish to confront unprepared. We're back at Aleport. Yes. Okay, good. Good to know that she's not going to be stuck there the whole time, worrying about the undead. Zarun wishes to tell us about the Cabal's master. I'm almost afraid to hear what he has to say. Ooh, even you're afraid. I mean, you are afraid of a lot of things, so maybe not? I don't know. As was apparent through our... <coughs> wow, pardon me. As was apparent through our unpleasant exchange, I have a history with this master of the assassins. His name is Lambard. Twenty years ago, he and I were part of the group who founded the Crimson Duelists. We studied the faded teachings passed through the generations of Girabanians and revived the art of red magic as a weapon against tyranny. But one day, Lambard simply snapped. He murdered my unsuspecting comrades and vanished into the shadows. I returned from scouting alone to discover the aftermath of a massacre. It was later that I learned his treachery had been paid for with Imperial coin. But never could, I uh, could I, never could I find what became of the man himself. After 20 years of fruitless searching, I thought him dead. This is how I became a master of vengeance. I mean to pursue Lambard and exact a price for his betrayal. But I will not, uh, I will not ask you to join me in this vendetta. Worry not, Dexter. Your grasp of red magic will allow you to grow with the need for, uh, without the need for a teacher. As for you, Arya, I'll arrange a suitable sanctuary. It'll, uh, it'll not turn you out to fend, uh, I, well, I'll not turn you out to fend for yourself. I shall treasure the time we spent together, my friends. May our paths cross again. Oh. So he's actually gone. Huh. Should we just let him go off like that? Uh, go, go, go off alone like that? I don't know about you, but I feel my part in this isn't over. Hmm. Speak with Zeruntia again. What should we do, Dexter? Good question. Let's go talk to Zeruntia and find out. Where exactly did you go? You went further north. 
just outside, just next to the gate. You didn't go very far. Yes, Dexter? Was there something else? Oh, what will you say? I'll go with you, or there is more for me to learn? Hmm. I mean, he did say I could learn without a teacher, so let's just say I'll go with you. This is not your battle, my friend. I will deal with Lambard alone, or die in the attempt. You... <sighs> I can see I'm wasting my breath. You have that determined look that so impressed me the first time we met. Very well. We stand together, then. You are more comrade to me now than student, Dexter, and I welcome your sword at my side. Yeah. I'm coming, too. I knew you would say that. I want to help save others from this monster just as you saved me. I want... I want to, you to teach me red magic. As things stand, I'm just a burden to you. If I'm to do more than be carried along in your wake, I need to... I need my own way to make a difference. Hmm. You certainly do have an attitude for the arcane... Aptitude for the arcane. Lambert appears to target such youths for recruitment into his puppet cabal. But Dexter Rex, you'd, uh, rescued you from that mindless fate, and now you would don the red to fight in our crusade. There's a sense of righteousness to it, isn't there? Stand with us then, Arya. Join the ranks of the red mages. That's so cool, I figured that was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting it to happen now. Dexter? Zaroon? You look splendid, but it's more than clothes, Swiss make the woman. Help me train her as I trained you, Dexter. I'll pay close attention, I promise. Oh, and Arya? There'll be no more hiding behind Dexter. Is that clear? I I I'll try to be brave. <laughs> A Vermilion Vendetta complete. Nice! We have a new friend that can fight with us, actually! Ooh! I was, gonna, I was about to say you have a new quest already, but no, apparently not. Oh, Dexter, I'm training day and night to make sure I don't slow you down. We've only been gone... I have last talked to you like five seconds ago. It couldn't have been day and night already. And I know Zarun thinks I'm afraid of him, but I'm honestly not. I know what kind of... Uh, I know... Wait. I now know what uh, kind and honorable man he is. It's just at our first meeting, he seems so intense and intimidating. Yeah, I kind of understood that. Level 50, 58? Yeah, figures. So, that is it for the Red Mage for a while. So, what to do now? That is a good question. Well, I mean, I did say I had every other class quest up to the next level to do their class quest. So, how about one of them? Which one should it be? I'm thinking the very next one that I unlocked was the Dragoon. So, let's go do that. I like the sound of that. So we're heading back to Corthus for this one. Over to... Yeah, I had to head back to Camp Dragonhead in the south for me. Alright, let's be off and see what we can do next. Wait, where am I... Where does it want me to go? I'm supposed to be heading south from here. So why does it want me to go west? What the? Oh, is that some other quest that it had? Blood for stone? Is that something I have in my journal here? Oh, it was. Okay. That's not something I needed to do then. I need to head south. There we go. Let me do it this way. 
that weirded me out for a moment. I thought, wait, why is it? Why does it want me to go that way? That's weird. But no, I'm supposed to be heading south. You know, thinking about the relationship is between Zarun and Arya right now, I'm wondering. Although I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but wondering if somehow it's going to end up in such a way that, like, Arya gets a crush on him. I don't know. That's just the feeling I get. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen. Next up, uh, regardless of that, next up we have Sanguine Dragoon. Sir Elbrick has acquired information on the heretics you seek. You come at a good time, my friend. I have tidings to share regarding the heretics we pursue. They call themselves the Bloodbearers, and their leader is a man named Mathenian. Math yeah, Mathenian? Yeah. He and his minions are all capable of assuming the form of dragons. Ooh, interesting. Such a transformation is possible by partaking of dragon blood. I dare say you have borne witness to it, and it grants the individual unholy strength. Though the sanguine substance is precious, the Bloodbearers have access to an abundant supply owing to their uh, pact with Growly. This is why they have been able to offer our uh, offer our forces such fierce resistance. Now, my sources tell me that the Bloodbearers have been sighted in the Chocobo Forest. If Hustian means to reclaim Peregrine, as I believe, that is where she will go. And so must we. <clears throat> Pray meet me at Tailfeather. We shall begin by making inquiries around the settlement. Okay, okay, we can do just that. I pray that we'll be able to bring Hustian home. Yeah, I do too. That'd be grand if we could. All right, off to Tailfeather. Whee! Okie dokie. So, where to from here? Albrecht, where are you? Oh, you're back here. I didn't see you. Hey, buddy. I took the liberty of speaking with some of the locals before you arrived. Oh, huh, good to know. They say the strange merchants have been acquiring goods in prodigious quantities. It seems to me the blood bearers are replenishing their stores. Let us split up and scour the area for these so-called merchants. Should someone strike you as suspicious, confront him and gauge his reaction. So are we going to be fighting inside Tailfeather? I should have this active then. So, we need to find people to talk to. Let's mount up and see who we can find. No one over here. Not Sanson specifically. Or a Shiva. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's a shady merchant specifically I need to talk to. Okay. So where is this shady merchant? Not here. Oh, I wonder. No? I thought it would have been beh behind some place, but I guess not. Hmm. All right, where is this guy? Let's get a better vantage point. Where are you? I don't think... It, oh, hold on. For some reason, the area goes outside of this actual settlement, so maybe they're over here somewhere. I mean, I doubt it, but I figured I'd at least check. Uh, I don't see anyone. Not up here either. Okay, so they are inside the settlement. I just need to find where. There's a suspicious merchant somewhere. Maybe it's inside one of the buildings, because I don't see one outside. Hello? No? Dang it. Hmm. Let's try again. Okay, what? Well, that wasn't even in the correct area. I need to be checking in this spot. Let's see. Are you inside one of these buildings? Like in here. No? Darn it. Hmm. How about... Wait a minute. Okay, I thought for some reason you would be inside, like, hiding in one of the stables, but I guess not. Not here. Hmm. I'm confused. Where could this guy be? It's supposed to be a shady merchant somewhere. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay, you can't go in there. I just wanted to double check that. Oh, wait. How about in here? All right, maybe in here somewhere. Nope. Don't see you in here. Huh. Hey, Grimald, have you found a suspicious merchant around here anyway? No? Dang it. Hmm. I feel like I'm being made a fool of. I don't know where... Oh! Found him! Hi. One of the seas, dogs. You ain't taking me alive. Uh-oh. How about I deal with this and then this... And then this. And first time using this! Fang and Claw! <laughs> Ow! How dare you hurt me! Beep! Stop firing me! Or firing at me! It's not fun! I need to heal! And one more thrust! There we go. Well now, I found this suspicious sliver. Oh, a suspicious, suspicious sliver of parchment. Huh. Okay. Let's go report this to. What's that? that, that uh, where are we going? Oh yeah, across the river. Hey, Albrecht, I found someone. The one suspicious fellow I approached was an honest chocobo breeder. Have read your search. Um, I found a parchment sliver by someone who attacked me. This small piece of vellum covered in arcane markings appears to be cut from a larger piece. Possibly a page from a stolen tome. Ooh. Attacked by a false merchant. And you say you found this sliver of parchment upon the man? Hmm. There's a message ciphered in a manner favored by heretics. Thankfully, I'm versed in it. There is to be a meeting a short way south of here. Let us go there at once. Okay. Let's be off. Southward! Let's go, Phoenix! Although, I guess you're specifically not the Phoenix, so I guess I should call you Rise or something? Ooh, I might actually just do that. I might just call you Rise. I like the sound of that. Hold on, where am I going? Okay, so I need to... Oh, there's an alcove over here. I don't think I've been to before. Oh, hey! We found Houston! Thank the fury where we're not too late. These guys were. Dexter, why are you here? Why is Sir Alberic here? You okay? You took a looks like you took a beating. Rest assured, your secret is safe with us. Your father is the only other soul that knows. Dexter could not bear to see him suffer so. What ails you? I am fine. It'll pass. Now, I suspect it was Methanin that led you here. Methanian that led you here. As you can see, he and his blood bearers uh, shall... He, he and his blood bearers shall trouble the Holy See no more. Even in self-imposed exile, you think of duty. But now that you have reclaimed Paragon, there is no need for further deception. Come with us back to Ishgard. Your family and your comrades must uh, have need of you. I am sorry, but I cannot. I cannot return to Ishgard ever again. Why? What has happened to you? The Houstian I know would never forsake her people. She would never turn her back on her nation. Please understand, I wish with all my heart to return home, but I have no choice. Why not? I've partaken of dragon's blood. When the heretics held me captive, they forced the vile substance down my throat. Oh. Alone, I have mercy. Th then you... I, I've already turned. Were I to set foot in Ishgard, I would be charged with heresy of the, ho of the worst order. I nearly said highest order by instinct. If I alone must suffer, then so be it. But you know as well as I the how the Inquisition works. Should I be declared a heretic, suspicion is like to fall upon my appearance as well. I will not allow that to happen. Full well do I understand your plight. 
But what do you intend to do? You cannot mean to throw your life away. Perish the thought. I owe my life to my father. If I must die, then it shall be in then uh, it shall not be in vain. Uh-oh, wait, is she preventing herself from turning? Is that what's happening here? As Dex uh, as Dexter has shown us, a dragoon needs no banners to know what is right, and I know full well what I must do. Upon my lance, I swear to hunt down Growly and end his reign of terror. Thank you, Dexter, for showing me the path I must walk, for helping me to accept my fate. I asked this a few once before, but I shall ask it again. Please, take care of my comrades and my father. No matter how I searched, I could find no words to stop her. For now, let us return to the observatorium. Mm, this is a dire situation, I see. Oh yeah, I need to teleport back. What am I thinking? Back on over to... Nope, not a foundation. Dragon head. And back south. Let's go. So this mission actually took a lot less time than I thought. So I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe one more quest after this. That sounds about right. It won't be able to be the Dragoon quest, because that, I'm pretty sure I need to be level 64, so I'll do another one. I think I was, I'm going to try and do it in order from the I unlocked stuff, so I think the next one would actually be the White Mage after this. As I made my way back, I recalled words Hustien once said to me. My worth is measured by the dragons I slay. To be changed into the very thing she was sworn to fight. I can only imagine the storm of turmoil that must rage within her. Get cruel though her fate is, we must make the best of the hand we have been dealt, and I believe I spy an opportunity. In partaking of dragon's blood, Houston has come to harbor the power of dragons. If she can but master this power, she may well have a fighting chance against Growly. Ooh, how exactly is she going to do that? It's not so different from harnessing the power of the eye, I believe. Alas, the danger of corruption is far greater. As you yourself have witnessed, dragon blood alters the flesh. And once the flesh is altered, the mind must soon follow. Will Houston be able to conquer the dragon that is aroused within her? I know not, but we must believe in her and lend her our strength, else she will surely be lost to us. Pray resume your training once more, Dexter, and keep your promise ever close to your heart. For when next we meet, it will be uh, it will be to confront the dragon Growly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fun. Ooh, what do I get? Wheeling Thrust. Delivers an attack with a potency of 260. Three, 300 went from the rear. Can only be executed on the effective Wheel of Motion granted by Chaos Thrust. Oh, so it's a combo off of the damage over time effect. Huh. Neat. And for our efforts... The dragon stirs within, resonating with the soul of the dragoon. Ha 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 ha! Nice! Uh, make sure I set it to the correct place. Not here. So, let's change out where that goes. I didn't realize I didn't have this thing locked this whole time. Whoops. Wheeling Thrust should go here. So this is going to be comboed after Chaos Thrust. Yeah. Lock that and that because I forgot to. Oh, I don't need Wheeling Thrust here. Whoop. Or do I? Ooh, wait a minute. I should actually have that and Fang and Claw under this bar so you can actually I can see when they're active. So let me do that first. Fang and Claw. Set. Oh, I can just set that like this. There we go. And then this here. There we go. Like that. There we go. Okay. So now let's see what we can do about the White Mage. <coughs> Pardon me. And for that, I know I need to return back to Tailfeather. So let's head off. Ah. Alrighty, Eshiva, where'd you go? Back over... Wait, where am I going? Wrong way. This way. Over the bridge. There you are. Okay, so what are we doing today? In the wake of death. Ugh. Eshiva is eager to share new information on Aliqua. Good tidings, Dexter. I've required definite information on Alika. 
As before, the stench of death gave her away. A hunter, she, uh, a hunter she chanced to walk near couldn't help but notice the smell. When she realized that she was being observed, she quickly turned her steps west towards dragon territory. Ugh, not good. The hunter showed a warning, but he continued on. Uh, she continued on heedless. In light of her inclinations, I dare she dare say she has business there. There's an area called Avalonia Fallen to the west. Let's head in that direction and try to pick up Alaka's trail. I can do that. Off to Alovia, uh, Alavonia Fallen. Can I just actually teleport over there? Uh, let's see. Not this way. Down here. That's Annex Trine. That's not what I'm looking for, though, right? Is it? Where am I going? Oh. It technically is near Annex Trine. But I can just, uh, fly over there. Why not? Take the scenic route. Alright, so Esheva, where did you go exactly? You are on the road. Okay, so I don't need to go into this hilly area. Here you are, Esheva! I was wondering if you are going to be standing in the center or off to the side. Thinking you are off to the side. Huh. No signs of Alaka. And the area beyond is fraught with danger. Not even hunters dare venture in. I would sooner not wander these parts without some guarantee that Alaka is near, but we cannot afford to delay lest she elude us completely. Let us split up and search. If you would focus on the area to the north, I'll follow the, I'll follow the road west. Oh, and do keep an eye out for the taint. If Alaka is here, it's like to have manifested. Ooh, good, good idea. Okay. Let's head north, see what we can find. Let's go Midgard Summer. Ooh, we have a long way to go. Okay. Good thing to know I don't need to walk all the way. So it's on the other side of this rock formation. Off into a little alcove off to the side. Oh, here it is. There's the foul taint. So, who wants to fight what? Ooh, hi everyone! Um, let's see here. How about I just do this? Da 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 I don't even know why I did it that way. Just spam this into oblivion! Ooh, I have a thingy. A thingy that I don't need. Easy. Okay, now let's remove this taint. This is taking a while. Hmm. Taint's gone. Alaka is not here. Rejoined Esheva on the westbound high road. Ah. Oh no! Did she encounter Esheva before I? Uh, before I did. Uh oh. I mean, did she encounter Aliqua before I did? That's not good. Oh yeah, she's gonna be on her own to deal with her. Oh no, that's that's definitely not good. Um. Oh, oh, all the way off to the side here too. Ew, inside this meteor crater. Yep, she had to deal with Aliqua before me. Uh oh. You should not have startled me. Sorry! You. Yes, me? What about me? I see. You are the one who undid my work. So you're actively ca causing taints then? Uh-oh. Why do you interfere with my experiment? So it was you who created the taint. The taint, you say? An insult born of ignorance. What you so callously destroyed was a wellspring of life-giving ether. What are you saying? The taint is befouled ether. It destroys life. 
So you choose to cling to your ignorance, like all the others. But it matters not what you think. When my experiment is complete, all the fools who tormented me and mine shall get their comeuppance. No! We won't let you continue your twisted experiment! Dexter, stop her! I believe you have more pressing concerns. Um... Oh no! Drawn to the ether, I shouldn't doubt. Or the taint, as you insist on calling it. But such details are immaterial. By whatever name it is known, I shall fill the world with it and have my revenge. Do not interfere. Consider this your final warning. Well, you should know that I don't like to listen to authority. I guess. In some cases. Okay. Uh, whoa. Hi, everyone. How about I just spam holy for a bit? Oops, I did not mean to hit that earth sprite over there. Now I gotta deal with that after dealing with all these. Make sure I don't get hit by that attack. Oh, come on, I hit the other one too. Okay, let's deal with these. Ow! You were dealing a lot more damage than I thought. Well, I technically did it. Well, stoop. Nah, darn it. Now I have to go all the way back. Darn it. How dare you do that to me? I was in the middle of trying to help something. And you decided to kill me, you jerk. That's the first death I've had in a long time. Okay, let's try it again. Back to Annex trying. And then back south once more. Let's go, Gubu. I got a body to recover. Probably mine. <laughs> Although something tells me that if the, the fact that I died there before I actually finishing it means that I need to fight them again. So hopefully... The er I ho hopefully I don't aggro those earth em elementals again because that was I hated that <laughs> I didn't realize they were doing as much damage th as they did oh darn it okay so I'm not gonna spam holy this time because that's just probably gonna aggro these things so one on one hey everybody oh you're doing a lot I deal a lot more damage than I thought. Okay, let's take out both of these Earth Sprites first. Ow! Please stop hurting me! I said stop hurting me! You know what I haven't done yet? Asylum. Reduce the damage I take. I probably should have done that. There we go. Now we're back to you guys. Oh, hold up. Actually, am I close enough to be able to do this and not hit the elementals? Yes, I am. Let's try this and not get hurt in the process. Good. There we go. This is working much better. Also, let me heal up. A little bit more. And... Done. Done. There! I survived that time! Now let's remove the taint. Actually, hold on. Neshiva, you okay? <laughs> More pressing matters. So yeah, th that, that makes sense. There we go. You find a peculiar hunk of flesh on the ground. Ugh. Am I going to pick it up? Ew, I picked it up. Thank you, Dexter. 
Again, you have saved me, and again, I'm reminded of my own weakness. Hmm? What do you have there? A hunk of flesh, and I don't like it. You take it. Ugh, tis well I skipped my last meal. I'd wager this is part of Valika's experiment. The seed seers may be able to glean something from it, and yet I find myself loath to seek them out. They haven't lifted so much as a finger to help us. What can we expect of them now? Ooh, what do we say? We should consult them anyway, or now's not the time to be stubborn? Yeah, now that's not the time to be stubborn. You have the right of it, Dexter. There's more at stake than a difference of opinion. If we are to save the Twelves Wood, we must needs turn to the Seed Seers for aid. It's settled then. We return to the Twelves Wood. Okay, quest complete. So wait, do we have to come all the way over here to talk to you for the next one? By purifying the taint, you have honed your powers as a white mage. Learn thin air. Oh, so oh, wait, hold on. Oh, we can go right back. Okay, hold on. Let's go see what, the, what this, this was first that I got. Uh, where was it on here? Oh, it's down here. Thin air. So what is thin air? Oh, back into actions, please. Thank you. Thin air. Next action is executed without MP cost. Ooh, and it has charges that I can use? Ooh. Nice. I don't want it there, though. Where should I put it? Here. That makes sense to put it here. So let's uh change where that goes. Hold on. I need to move where this goes as well. Set this here. Move thin air. Oh, thin air off of this. And where should it go? Should it go here? Probably. Yeah, let's put it under benediction. So let's set that right here. Yeah, that sounds good. So I can just do that, activate that to immediately get no MP cost ability. For, hmm. I mean, the only ones that would work for really is the cure spells, because those are the ones that cost the most. Or is the Medica spells. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so set that and that. And let's return back to the Swallows Wood with Trials of the Pajals. Esheva is ready to return to the Twelve's Wood to petition the Seed Seer's aid. Please, hold on to the hunk of flesh. It's, uh, safer in your keeping. Oh, I don't want to keep the thing! Now then, let's return to Camp Tranquil and explain the situation to the Seed Seers. Do I actually still have that item? Oh, I do! It's tainted flesh! A byproduct of Alika's dark experiments. Ugh, I don't like it. Go away! Okay, back on over to Camp Tranquil. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Hey, guys! All right, need to mount up first because they're off on a rock somewhere. Specifically, this rock. Hey, everybody! How are we doing today? The situation grows ever more dire, but it will be more than enough to spur the seeds. Oh, will it be enough to spur the seed seers to action? I don't know. The great one's warnings have been abated. Have not been. Uh, have not abated. On the contrary, they have become more fervent. Uh oh, that's not good. Raya. Ah, you are returned. Have fares the effort to purge the taint. You wish to show us something? Yeah, I don't want this. Can you take it from me instead? Who the heck kept walking? Hmm. What does it tell us, brother? The elementals are in trepidation of the flesh. It is infused with befouled ether. If this is where uh, of this there can be no doubt and with the great ones warnings growing ever more fervent it seems plain that this Alaka continues to sow the taint whatever it is she seeks to do we must put a stop to it Arun and I shall take a closer look at that flesh in the meantime you must resume your journey of purification what with all due respect how to hell's with respect? I can't believe what I'm hearing! You would send us back into the midst of danger and with nary a word of counsel? 
I know full well that we ask much of you, but there is none other than uh, none other upon whom we can depend. Depend, you say? Instead of depending upon others, why don't you do something for a change? We all know what you both have the power to do so. Do you realize how much Dexter has been through in your names? Oh, but of course you don't, because while we bleed for you, you're hiding here with your heads in the treetops. If Master Atoa were here to see this, he'd be turning in his grave. Heads in the treetops? What is the matter with her? To think our own people see us in such a light. It cannot be helped, brother. We are bound to remain in the forest. Things are not as they were during Master Atoa's time. Be that as it may, were the people to lose faith in us, for whom we shall, uh, for whom shall we convey the wild of the elementals? Will of the elementals. Forgive me, Dexter, but I would be alone. Rest assured, I will take a closer look at the tainted flesh. Good, thank you. Now please be careful with it. Ah, Rune has the right of it. It's our duty to facilitate harmony between man and elemental. All the laws of the forest count for naught if we fail in this. At any rate, we must need stop Alaka's dark designs. And fear not, Dexter. Henceforth, we will not leave you to bear the burden alone. Pray, allow us the time to consider our next step. Okay. Ah, so you are the one that has the next quest. Meaning Esheva is just off her own doing who knows what. Well, I guess that is unfortunately it for me for tonight. I genuinely got a little more done than I thought I would. I thought it was just going to be nothing but fishing. But no, I managed to get some class quests done in the meantime. So... What to do for next time? I could continue with more of these class quests. That's e that's easily something I could do. Is there anything else in particular I can think of that I haven't been doing or that I still need to that is not like level 60 or higher? Or I can't do anything higher than level 60. I don't have that content yet. I don't think so. So I guess for the next stream, I will be doing more class quests. Unless I think of something else in the meantime that I feel like I should do, but I feel like if that's the case, it'd be more half episode content. Yeah. I oh I do know I there are a lot of things I need to do for half content, so I need to get working on that. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me this evening on this excursion through a bunch of stuff, and I hope that you have a good night. <laughs>